like this. What's up, guys? I'm the Russell Gamer. Welcome to another wrestling commentary right here on WGS TV. And we are got something really, really special and planned. You know, you guys have heard of Stardom. You heard of Tokyo Joshi. I've, and for for a while, you heard me talk about all the different promotions that Russell Universe has. Well, we're going to be looking at one of them right now. It's called the Dramatic Dream Team, also known as DDT. It is their show called Big Bang 2023. It's going to be a very, very interesting show. Let's just say DDT. I don't. I don't know. Let's go, Stunning Man. Ashley, Ashley, how would you describe DDT to someone who's never seen DDT before? It's a collage of everything, especially so tonight. You're getting, you know, you're getting explosions. You're getting hard hitting wrestling. You're getting comedy stuff, and you're getting asses, and not necessarily in that order, or any of them named Jack. Uh, right, Lance. How do I get y'all? How do y'all keep talking me into this? But uh, anyway, guys, if you want to watch along with us, we are uh, watching this on WrestleUniverse. Dot com and like I said already, anywhere between six to eight dollars a month for Tokyo Joshi DDT Pro Wrestling Noah Gone Bari Pro. I gotta tell you guys, that's a hell of a steal for great wrestling it's the price content. Of a little bit more than it's the price of a little bit more than one drink at Starbucks. If you drink at Starbucks every day, skip a day, buy this for a month. Also worth noting. If you aren't sure and don't want to commit to it just yet, uh, where we talk over the first two matches, I believe it's still available, the feed on YouTube. Because uh, the first, rather than one match, they actually did two matches as a free preview to entice people to get to buy it. So you can catch it over there and then switch over if you want to. We'll be running through the card as well because there's no... Usually with DDT shows, we get sort of fancy graphics and everything. Uh, they went out the window. Uh, the ring announcer is just going to go through <laughs> the card, which is a completely different order to how it was originally listed. So it's it's crucial. Your guess is as good as ours. Oh, no, I watched it. <laughs> So if you are watching on Wrestle Universe, we'll be starting at the eight minute mark. We're just cutting it, trimming out a little bit of the pre show shenanigans that the uh, Japanese commentary are doing. And yeah, we're doing this because uh for a very rare occurrence, a DD a significant DDT show like this did not have any English commentary on. So we're doing the burden. 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 The burden. Of uh, supplying it to you. All four hours. Ju just just over four hours of it. Although some of it might be sort of outro stuff at the end, so it might not be worth covering, but... In or around four hours for sure, though. So, gentlemen, shall I'm we get... So glad I say that ain't no way in hell I'm making it four hours. No, I wasn't expecting you to. <laughs> as long as we get to pheromones and it's all sorted. So, um... At... Get, get your video to the eight-minute mark. You can easily do that via uh, going forward or back ten seconds and getting to the point. Kid Rock is about to fade out because reasons. <laughs> Again, so, Kid Rock fades out. We are going to be underway in five, four, three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Ring announcer. I don't. Mm -hmm. I think this is the usual ring announcer. It's just with the acoustics of the building. Yeah. I think it's uh, not as obvious. Mm -hmm. 
願いいたします。So here we go. Time for the Big Bang card. So we're opening with uh, Massa, Honda, and Illusion taking on Uni, Kazuma Sumi, and Rukia. So the youngsters versus the veterans and Illusion. Then the this the the Pheromones dissolute dis, dissolve match. Pheromones livelihood is on the line. As Yuji Sexahino takes on Akito with Dandy Dieno in Eno's corner, of course. Then the first main match after the, the YouTube pre show Harashima Higuchi and Soma Takao versus Yuki Onaka, Yukuroku, and Takeshi Masada. Then the DDT Extreme and Iron Heavy Metalweight uh, title for title match. With the extreme champion Kazuki Hirata defending against the Iron Man heavy metalweight champion Naruki Doi. All being, you have to wrestle on the same level as Hirata. We'll get into more explanation of that. Then the All Japan and DDT six person tag belts with Sakaguchi, Saki Akai, and Okatani of Eruption uh, defending both belts against Yuka Miyamoto. Azami Kodaka and Ram Kai Chow from all sorts of places. Then the death match of some explosion variety because Atsushi Onita's in it, because of course it's explosions if he's involved. He's teaming with Yoshi Tatsu and Toy Kojima to take on Junakiyama, Sanchiro Takagi, and Yusuke Okada. Then uh, the tag titles on the line Yuji Hino and Makoto Oishi make their first defense against. Uh, Minora Fujita and Canon of Damnation. I'll get, I'll explain more into that as well when we get to it. Takeshita makes his return to team up with Osuka Sasaki. To, uh, I guess Damnation of sorts, taking on Yuki Reno and Mao, Takeshita's former friends. And then your main event, Chris Brooks. I think in his first defense of the KOD t world title, taking on Shigehiro Iwie. The match that was so good, it's been in three different countries. The KOD Openweight Championship, you mean? Well, not not specifically for the title, but they fought each other in... They fought each other in Germany, and they fought each other in the UK. So now, match three of the World Tour, which is more of a World Tour than the acclaimed are giving us. Um... In Japan. All right, big shout out to Legendary Reborn, and yes, we are. Go. Say go a lot. That's, that's what matters for DDT. Go. I mean, you're still welcome to stay, re re Reborn. Mm -hmm. yeah. Shortened version of the theme. And now, time for some idol singers. <laughs> This Wait, what? Oh, it just sounds, you know. Wake me up before you leave. <laughs> as long as you don't wake me up before you go, go, really. Oh, God. Not going there. So these first two matches of the show took place for the YouTube kickoff show, for DDT's mm -hmm. Big Bang 2023. They always try and do for some of their significant shows at least one, occasionally a couple of matches for free. There's Uni.
Sumi Kazuma. Or the other Ka way around, I should say. K Kazuma Sumi. And uh, Rukia. Rukia. And now time for Illusion and the two veterans. I think Masa is facing Chris Brooks in a 20th anniversary match. To Masa Masa's own show that he's doing to mark his 20th anniversary in the business. And uh, yeah, there's Masa, there's Illusion, and now here comes Captain America. What the hell, <laughs> Antonio Honda? <laughs> American Honda. Although, isn't that known as an Acura where you are, Billy? I don't know, to be honest with you. <laughs> I did a reference that the American didn't get. Oh, I feel terrible. <laughs> I think my brain is still trying to comprehend that. Akiso refereeing because he was busy with Tej stuff, Tokyo Joshi stuff, having a show. I don't know if it's exactly the same time as this, but it's certainly the same day. And we have not worked out time travel yet, so we can't be in both places at the same time. Sadly. So Matsu is starting for her team, for his team. I'm sorry, and <laughs> I, I apologize. It was a, it was an actual Freudian slip. Not Martha. Yeah, it's I, next month. <laughs> <laughs> and Kazumi, Su Kazumi is starting for his team. There you mm -hmm. go. Lock up, call a double type. Matsu with a go behind. Kazumi now with an arm ringer. Matsu with a roll through with an arm ringer of his own into a hammer lock. Now transitions into the side headlock. Matsu with a quick counter into a high lock of his own. Takeover counter by Kazumi into the head center and both men right back up. And now we've got a quick tag. Illusion's in. Illusion is in, and, and so uh... is and so is Uni. Mm -hmm. Here we go, lock up. Here we go, into the headlock, Illusion. Uni throws him into the ropes. Oh, shoulder tackle. Down goes Uni. Illusion again off the ropes. Leapfrog by Uni. Roll through by Illusion. Waist lock. Uni with a counter. Reverse into the corner goes Uni, and a big monkey flip from Illusion. Seems and then, to be stalling for a bit, like he stayed in the air for like two seconds before he actually moved. He definitely did. And, uh -oh. Oh, oh, beautiful Hurricanrata by Uni. Great leap up. Illusion's had enough. Oh. And uh, tags Antonio Honda. Oh. And, uh, Honda. Oh, he stopped himself from tripping up on the ropes. My word. History is made. Honda with the takedown. And uh, Honda not falling. Now off the ropes. Oh, he got caught into the slam. Oh, Honda's already asking for a timeout after one slam. Oh, no. No. Well, right in the throat. Lance, is there's one thing you need to know about Antonio Honda. He's big into the uh, the cheap underhanded tactics. As a face. As a face. <laughs> I mean, when he He's teams a up with... guy that's a bit of a twat. <laughs> Except when he, when he teams up with Tokiko and they become Black Kamenechi. That's another time and, and another he, place. Um, oh. Nice helo by Illusion. But now it's, it's Masa in control. And Masa's not afraid to get dirty. Oh my. We're now tags back into the American Antonio Honda. I'm, I'm trying to comprehend that statement without f fully breaking into a smile or a laugh, Ash. Oh! 
Oh, oh don't worry. It'll happen eventually. Trading forearms. Honda sends him into the opposite corner, but then he gets corralled. What a collision right there in the middle of the ring. Tag, here comes Kazumi. Kazumi, the speedster in the yellow. Up and over. And look at that agility by Kazumi. What a drop kick. Beautiful drop kick from Kazumi and Honda kicks out. Oh, but I, I think I think Honda might have had Kazumi a little bit scouted right there, Ash, bringing up the knees for that moonsault. Illusions in now. This could be speedster versus speedster here. Nice step up kick by Illusion up and down with the hip lock takeover. Just look at oh wow, what an attack! Right there by Illusion. Again, blink your eyes, you're going to miss it. And a kick out by Kazumi. And now Kazumi trying to fight back against Illusion. No, oh, what a shot right there by Illusion. And a beautiful drop kick. He got some height. Lance, he got some height on that drop kick. That's a damn woman. And now it's Uni. Whoa! You that air from Uni. Oh my word. Ricochet's got Ricochet's got an enemy now. Oh. Oh, and a Muda he elbow. Fancy at the moon. Oh no, there was two flips rather than one. That was like. And that then Uni on ice. And now it's a DDT that almost got Uni team the win. Illusion now finds himself in a lot of trouble. And Uni is on the top! Oh, he lands on his feet from the moonsault. Oh, whoa! Pop-up cutter by Illusion. Illusion makes the, the tag, and I don't know why. It, I don't know. Well, Honda's also in the ring. Honda's... Yeah. No, oh, wait a minute. Well, Lance, over here we've got. For the yeah, we've known it as a flip flop and fly, and that was like a flip flop and uh, flip flop and f. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, shot to Masa, and now it's Yumi's turn, and there's Kazumi. Side suplex. And now some more double teaming. Uni. Assisted moonsault. Rolling Senton into the into the Asai moonsault. Nicely done by Kazumi and Honda. Tripped his way oh. into breaking up the pinball. You know, he needs a microphone. Ha He's, he's giving up. Oh, no, wait. No, he's not giving up. I think he... he's telling the story about the bunny rabbit. Yeah, this seems to be More a... often than not, this means... Uh, a very infamous story by Honda, by the way. in the eye. And, and Lance, look, look, we're just letting you know right now, he's not doing this because it's a little bit too sweet. Uh... <laughs> I don't know what that I I don't know what that was. I'm not even gonna say anything. On YouTube. Yeah, I don't know, but we're not I'm not gonna tell oh. you oh into the eye, into the eye, and uni oh, oh no. into illusion. Daniel. Uni into oh, no. Massa And the Honda tried again. Oh, uh, I, oh god, ow! Ow! I don't think I can ever say that on commentary. It still clung on like a crab. Oh god, Moss oh, is swinging a miss on the clothesline. He's got Uni. 
Oh, no. oh, yeah, wow. And somehow Masa's team, Masahiro Takanishi, Antonio Honda, and Illusion, pick a crucifix pin. Yeah. And they get the win from Honda pinching his own nipple and Masa throwing Yuni into Honda's elbow. I mean, how else? If you guys, if you guys think I'm kidding, check out the pre-show on YouTube. We're we're not joking. Again, how do y'all get me to watch this shit? I wouldn't. Oh, don't worry. Gets better. Well, normally I do expect shenanigans with Antonio Honda, but not that not to that degree or that level. It's American Honda. That's probably why. He pulled a, that guy in the water, boy. The one you couldn't, you couldn't understand what the hell he was saying. So at the end of the last play, the guy was like, "I'm gonna rare up big Bobby Boucher." The pheromone versus subjugation final match. Dissolution contra vice president. Basically, um. If Akito wins this, he will have the power to shut down, disband, however you want to describe it, the Pheromone Stable. And here is the person in question. Depending on your view on the Pheromones, Either your hero or your villain. Come on, you son of a bitch. However, for some reason, for the people in Japan, especially the fans of DDT, a, a good majority of them view the Pheromone Army as one of the most popular stables in the entire company. Oh, damn it. Kito looks focused. Focused and ready. Akita looks like he's ready for a fight. Well, you know, I, I, you know, is a big guy. You know, it's going to take a lot to be able to take him down. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know, size and muscle wise, he's not that dissimilar to uh, Yuji Hino, the former champion that Chris won the belt off of. Uh, a month or so back. And now Akito looks very, very relaxed. Oh. The dandy one, Dino, is uh, doing his own introduction. And Dino Dandy is a, a an entering veteran for, to the surprise of a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Been pretty over what with Shining Ball and uh, oh, Fantastic, Fant yeah, Fantastic in Minari. You see what I mean, Lance? You know, it, it, it's surprising to me, but apparently Fairbone Army has a lot of fans. Yeah. I mean, if there's, if there's a lot of women that want to see, you know, scantily clad men, Yuji Hino's pretty, uh, pretty buff. Dino isn't. He's just there for the shits and giggles. Do you know wearing a protective mask uh, due to having some, uh, I don't know, it was a broken nose or whatever? I don't know why he wasn't wearing it in uh, last week's theme park match. I guess because that was going to be relatively uh, 
no crazy action going on. I don't know. I say that it was crazy as all hell. So, well, one would have to think that there's a lot of pressure on Yuki Ino in this match, considering the the the, the circumstances surrounding this match. If Akito wins, he holds the power to dissolve the Pheromone army out of DDT. Oh my word. That was super sexy from the ring announcer. That was... <laughs> that's, that sexy was held for about, I think, 15 seconds. You know, Yuki Ino may look like he's cool, calm, and collected right now, but Lance, you, you got to figure, again, with the stipulation in this match, there's a lot of pressure right now on his shoulders. Yeah. And again, as you as we normally get with Pheromones matches, it usually involves multiple people. So the fact that there's two people in the ring compared to Akito's one, Something's going to have to happen. Oh, a shake of hands offered. And Akito... Akito taps it. Uh, yeah, Akito not so interested. Sort of respect? I don't know. A sort of respect? He didn't just, like, reject it altogether? I think if Akito respected Yuki, Yuki Ino and the pheromones, he wouldn't be having this match. Yeah. Uh, something said, yeah. Yuki seems to be calm under pressure. And Yuki kind of, I guess, maybe uh, outsmarting Akito from that collar and elbow tie-up. Oh, but, oh, Akito with a roll-up! Akito with a roll-up and only a two. And and I think that seems to be one thing oh, that, that Yuki you know, does. He seems to pander to the crowd a whole lot. And it, it might come back to bite him in the backside here. Akito now with a with a version of a Kimura, which is a smart uh, thing to do with someone the size of Yuki Ino. Right, Lance? I mean, he's bigger, stronger. Take out one of those arms, you neutralize that power. Yeah, that, uh, looked, more like a, that looked to me looked more like a hammer lock, but yeah. Taking out the knee to try and stop the vertical base as well. And uh, going after the other one. Again, oh, uh, oh, we go. and there, yeah, here we go. The uh, interference from uh oh, from Dandy. Oh, and uh, I, I don't know how to call this one commentary. It's just Yuki has buried his backside, and, the, and apparently, he's given him his best impersonation of Rikishi's stink face. A, a a non corner stink face. I think that's the the, the most general. That's all I'm saying. You know what? Screw it. He put that man's face uh -oh. in his ass. Uh oh, and he's. Uh, and well. this is kind of like the mo of the pheromones. He just teabagged him. Well, no, it's less up and down and more along the face. I mean, I don't know how else to call that. Yeah. You just teabagged him. Now, we've seen things that the pheromones have done that in the time we've been wrestling fans, we have never seen before. It's the most sexy move in all of wrestling. The sexy... Oh, he went for the sexy elbow, but took so long. No! Oh, Dino I, Akito tried to avoid contact, but Danny intercepts, throw, rolls him back into the middle of the ring. Yuki with the cover, and only a two. I think his face is still smarting from the uh, yeah, I think stink face moment. Yeah. Oh, no. no. Oh, Akito had a jaw jacker into a neckbreaker. 
I don't care who you are. That's going to stop anybody. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't know if some you can, you can, you know, blows I... when they hit, some blows when they hit, uh, you know, for those of you new to it, he starts to feel especially sexy as if like the pheromones button in him gets hit. So, yeah, but I don't know if, if, if I would want to trade strikes with, oh, with someone like, refusing. like, yeah, but here's the thing though. I mean, look at the size of the guns on Yuki Ino, Lance. I don't know if I want to trade blows with that guy. No, I think Akito was refusing because he knows it's getting to the verge that the sexy one is going to... Uh... Oh, I, wow. I, Akito's daring him to do it. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Oh, and that was a hard one. Oh, oh wait. Dandy hit him. Now it's Dino, his teammate. That is having to do the slaps. Akito is refusing to get involved. <clears throat> oh, but Akito, what a shot to shot to Dandy Dino on a dragon screw leg whip from Akito. And now look, no, that takes some power. Look at the sides. Look at the power of Akito. I'm holding what? him for a bit. Yeah, for that deadlift gut wrench suplex. And, Aki and Yuki Ito oh. just gets immediately back up. But the and, sexy uh, one has gone down to his jockstrap. Yeah, and, and the, the ring gear is somewhere in the crowd in the sixth row. And Akito. I guess this is Yuki's version of hulking up. I guess. And now it's time for the wait, double wait, team. wait a minute, wait a minute. This is a singles match. This is a singles match. The, Dan, ref, the ref's making Dino, it clear he wants him out. Yet, yet, Dino has... Dino cannot be involved. Oh. Little do -si do right there between Akito. Oh, no, no. Oh, we got a referee bump. The ref got squished. And speaking of getting squished, you can oh, oh no, no, it's the referee. The ref is officially been squished. Oh no. Oh, but They're both in the corner. Are we gonna get another little, another little O to what the? What? It's oh no. Uh, oh uh, no. Well, oh that referee. Oh, I think, Lance, I think that referee's gonna need the rest of the night off. And I don't think even Yuki realizes it until now. Can we check on the ref? Whoa, oh, wait. Oh, wait a minute. Yuki, you know, you whoa, did. wow. A weird variant yeah. of a Samoan drop. The ref's going to be needed to... Uh, the, wow, the, the ref's gone. Yeah, I think ref's he's, dead. He's I think ref's dead. Eyes roll back in the head. And again, that means more shenanigan time for pheromones. Exactly. Oh, what the hell? Plank of wood. Plank of... Wood and 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 Eno deposits a key. Oh it's gonna be no! After. Oh no! It's that uh, wood's got a risk of snapping. Yeah, I know, but it's it's catapult time. Oh no! No! Oh, for the love of God, don't the fart! That allows it. For the love of God, don't fart! And the referee is still yeah, unconscious. The ref is still. The ref's still not in good shape. Oh, he wants the music. We now have music playing. It's like stripper music from like the 50s. Oh, we're covering him up. Covering him up? So the ref's back. Uh, I... Does he? Is he that knocked out? He thinks it's a person. I don't know. I don't know. Oh. No, no. That poor no, he's referee. A show. 
That poor referee. I've heard of brown nose. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, God. Big Dino just said he's doing a magic trick. A magic trick? What the fuck? I apologize well, for my language, folks, but... No, what? Billy, that is 100% appropriate. Is that the new variant of the international title? That's appropriate. Oh, Dino's now coming to get a cheap well, shot on Akito. Yeah, cheap shot by... Oh. Uh, no, what the... A frost shot. Oh, and now we've got a... I'm guessing a fire extinguisher. Oh, wow. Well, I think you can just fart it. Yeah. It's a bit ominous. And of course, if he's farting that, what the hell did he eat? Uh, oh no. Whoa, wait, what the? Akito a a got pheromonized, I guess. Who can play that game, yeah. I guess? You know, the old saying, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. But he's in like a... See that position? He's like he's ready for a sumo match. Precisely. But uh, we're, we're seeing way more of each man. <laughs> we are no this. longer allowed to watch this. YouTube is going to remove it from the thing, so all we are now getting is just tulips. <laughs> Tiptoe through the tulips. That's a good picture, though. Yeah, it's a very, very nice scenery, wouldn't you say, Lance? Yeah. Better than what we were saying, two ne men naked in jockstrap. That could have been the Windows XP background, but they didn't go with that. <laughs> stuff I'm guessing is happening. Yep, Once stuff. we get our feedback, as you will, hopefully as you're watching along, we'll be able to tell you what's happening, but uh, don't be afraid. Don't stuff be afraid. Done. Don't be afraid. We're... we're 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 seeing this and we're afraid. Yeah. We don't even know what's happening. The only people that know is the Japanese commentary. I heard some pinfall attempts there. I heard it too. I'm just This is. If only this wasn't on YouTube, then we might have been able to see it. But oh wait! Oh, we're back! We're back! Oh, and Akito mocking. Taunting. Yeah, mocking the pheromones. The spear. Oh, no! No! And spears Dino. Yeah, Yuki. Akito with a roll up. He's got him up! He's got him up! Akito! Akito! And Akito with the win! Akito defeats Yuki Sexy Ito and now holds all the cards when it comes to the pheromones. I mean, pheromones are done. The referee, Sexy, is not happy with the ref with the is counting. But the referee's decision is final. It was a it was a three count. The pheromones I mean, the ref from all the asses that he had to be fair. But the pheromone army is no more oh. in DDT. Akito's got a microphone, so is this him?
Well, he holds the power. Yeah, he has the power to disband the group. The question is, will he? Oh. He's acknowledging that they have a following in DDT and they're very popular. So, uh, he's giving them a time limit. One month, or well, roughly one month. The show on the 4th of October, apparently, is where we'll find out whether the pheromones will still exist or not. They got that time, apparently, in his words, to purify themselves in and out of the ring. And Dino's response. It was a very angry response. I will do our best to make sure that pheromones can prevail. So the pheromones have one month to the October 4th show to purify themselves in the eyes of Akito. And if they don't, they're out of a job in DDT. Well, they, they will still be DDT wrestlers. It's just... They won't be the pheromones anymore. If it, if it's stable or affiliated and all that. I don't know, Lance, do you think they can do it? Do you think the pheromones can purify themselves enough in the eyes of Aikido? That's going to be difficult for them to do. Apparently, I just looked it up. The October 4th show is going to be their Shinjuku face show. So that probably won't be live. So we'll find out there. As we are now likely uh, transitioning. Tra yeah. I was going to say transitioning to the main show. I think this is Yukio Naka's music, I believe. So, folks, you're, you're going to have to bear with me a little bit because, uh, again, there are some faces that I know in DDT and there's some that I don't. So, we've got Takeshi Masada. And, uh... Kuroku Yuya. All part of the burning stable. And then uh, the guy with the big coat. Yukio Naya. That's a big guy, Lance. Yeah, and this will probably be my last for the night. Mm-hmm. And that music means Harashima is here.
And speaking of big dudes. Yeah. There's Soma, there's Higuchi, and there's Harashima. That's a big son of a bitch. I feel bad for anyone who's in the ring with Higuchi. Well, we thought we saw a lot of beef in Wembley. I think we're seeing a lot of beef right here. I'll go with the beef, Billy. Uh, all out. Yeah. Well, there's Higuchi. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is... As of last month, this is Harashima's 21st... 22nd year, should I say, in wrestling. Damn. His 21st anniversary was last month. Yeah. Alright, so this is Higuchi and... Yuki Onaya. Former stable mates, of course, when Higuchi was part of Burning. Again, these are two really big men here. Yuki Onaya and Higuchi. Trading shoulder chops. Oh, God! Again, those Higuchi chops. Now they go back to the shoulder tackles. And apparently, you can. Yuki eventually comes out on top. No! And well, Higuchi. Yeah. Now it's time for some smaller people, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sada and Kokoka. Sada and Takoga, right? Hang on. Again, you, again, you, again, you, you'll have to forgive me with the pronunciations of some of these names, folks. Takao. Takao, sorry. sorry. Oh, beautiful drop kick by Sonata. Sada. Sada. Oh, oh, so, uh, Osada? <laughs> Masada. Matsada. I in... Okay, I apologize. Matsada. And now to double teaming. Tagged in to uh, Kuroku, that is. I think tagged in. Oh no, just came in for the double team, I guess. And a kick out by Takao. Takao trying to slam Masada. And does so eventually. Now tag in Harashima. Twenty-one year veteran Harashima. Oh jeez. Damn. That is vicious to another level. Probably won it. <laughs> He's been around that long. And Lance from the way Harashima you looks. Feel really he old. He's forty nine. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Do what? I'm gonna say, Harashima looks like he's just ready to beat somebody up. Yeah. 49 and he looks like he's in his mid 30s. Oh, oh my god! That's a double stop. All the way from the middle rope to the ground. Good god. Masada in a world of oh, trouble. Man. But now, right in the bread basket. But now Masada's even even more trouble, because now he's dealing with the monster Higuchi. And that's of a five star frog splash to some extent. Jeez, another I mean, palm strike to the abdomen. God, he looks like he just wants to take his hand and just permanently put it through the body of Masada. And he tags into Cal. Oh, 
have a scoop slam. Masada has been fighting. The Masada has been in a world of trouble these past few minutes. Yeah, he's yet to be able to tag into anybody. Even more scoop slams. And only a two. Out again, just all over. But now Masada trying to respond with those kicks. Oh, oh, that one delivered right to the head. He connected with three of them to the bread basket of the cow, and then somehow with a slight misdirection. Oh, and here comes Yukio Nio or Nio, sorry. Yukio got a shot to Haguchi on the ring apron, and now oh man, the cow's in a oh a lot of trouble. And Yukio just collapses onto Cow, drops an elbow, goes for the cover, and only a two. Yukio looks like he's going to be at least 6'5, six, 6'6 six, six at Ash, maybe a, a good 260, 270. I'd say so, yeah. And now he's got a Boston Crab, a high angle Boston Crab locked in onto Cow in the middle of the ring. Uh oh. Ow. But Yukio said no. Oh, Higuchi with another chop. No, the third one. And Yukio releases it. Oh, but then Yukio with a shoulder block to Higuchi. Oh, now Yukio. Oh, he, he missed contact. To Cow with a beautiful drop kick. And now tags in Hiroshima. Now Hiroshima from the ring apron, springboard cross body by the 21 year veteran and only got a two count. 49 years old ladies and gentlemen. But Hiroshima I don't think can, can get Yukio up for that suplex. Oh but oh but Yukio tried one of his own. Hiroshima blocked it. Oh that was a Big right elbow. Oh, Yukio responds. God, look at the size differential between these two guys, Lance. Yeah. Yukio's got to have at least four or five inches on him. What it looks like? Yeah, if not six. And look, he's even bending down to get on his level. No, oh, but that Hiroshima with that kick. But somehow Yukio is still standing. There's another kick. Well, third time be the charm? No. But somehow Yukio. Excuse Hiroshima me. Is just gonna keep kicking him. Whoa. Oh, but what? I guess Yukio said no. A big knee. Oh. No. Drop kick to the knee. Drop kick to the knee by Hiroshima. No. That was just a big boot right in the face of Hiroshima. Oh, how in the world did Hiroshima just falcon arrow Yukio? How did that happen? 49, you did the deal. What? Gucci going for the hot tag. It's oh. a wise move. Yeah, it definitely is. Oh, God! Those chops make me cringe every time I hear it. Backslide. Oh, I don't think it's going to be able to get Higuchi down for that. Oh, miss of a clothesline. Oh, nice single leg takedown. Oh, nice move right there. And, and now going after the arm, the right, uh, the left arm, excuse me, of Higuchi. And then he gets taken out with the form. There's Masada. And now we're going to get some double teaming from the men in the burning stable. There's Masada. And that should help me out with that man in the blue. 
who just Mas wait. Kakura. I'm sorry. Lin oh, Kakura. Kakuro. <clears throat> oh, look at that takedown. Almost a triangle lancer. Oh. But Takao took off his shirt and just covered Kakuro's face. And now Masada's got the shirt. But somehow Kakuro's oh, got, got the shirt again. He's putting the shirt back on. That's what it looks like. Hiroshima sends Kakura into the other corner. Oh, there's Hiroshima. There's Takao. And there's the big guy, Haguchi. Oh, look at that springboard. Yeah, and a big elbow from Haguchi. Oh, and somehow, somehow. to make it in to make the break. Exactly. But. Oh, no, Haguchi off the ropes. Oh, what a right hand by Kakura. Go! Haguchi does not care. Oh, God. And again, oh, those chops. But Kagura fires back, but how can he with those knife edge chops from Haguchi? Well, hammerlock. Oh, and again, Go going. Arm again. He has, oh, but he could not go after that right arm. Haguchi with a cover and only a two. Here we go. Oh, wait a minute, he's got him up. Dr. Bomb. Dr. Bomb by Haguchi. And that's it. <laughs> Team of Hiroshima to Cal and Hiroshima Haguchi pick up the win. Yeah. After a big time lariat followed up with a doctor bomb by Haguchi puts away Kakura. And with that, gentlemen, I will talk to y'all tomorrow. All right, Lance, thank Thanks you so much for joining. Me. Thank you for joining us, Lance. No problem. Anytime. So like I was saying earlier, folks, you're going to have to bear with me because, you know, I, I'm, I'm not big. I'm not as knowledgeable about DDT as Ash is. So I, I will be trying my best on commentary to... To call the match as best as I can. There was a random towel there just behind the, the entrance there. <laughs> I don't know what else I have no idea. So now I have time to explain or try and work out what this actually is. So this is a title for title match. Um for both the DDT Extreme title and the DDT Iron Man Heavy Metalweight Championship, which is usually under 24-7 rules. Well, that's being put aside for this, well, for the minute. But uh, two judges will be at ringside. Uh, to judge whether we are on the level. So, to explain this, because when you are extreme champion, you are able to have anybody challenge, but you can make the stipulation. So because Naruki Doi is a multi-year veteran, and Hirata isn't as much, uh, Hirata has decried a all humans are equal death match. Basically. Uh, if there's anything that Hirata wouldn't do, move-wise, um, it's off the cards, and the, the the judges will decree on it. So here is champion number one, the DDT Iron Man Heavy Metalweight Champion, Naruki Doi. This is a championship that is supposedly defended... 
But will Naruki Doi walk away with more gold or no gold? He's 42, but can nearly for 43 next month. But, you know, was a key fixture in Dragon Gate for a heck of a long while. But, you know, he's done some stuff in Ring of Honor, uh, All Japan, uh, DDT, where, I mean, he was Universal Champion a few months back. And Six-Man Tag Champ, to be fair, a few months back as well. Uh, uh, look at Harada's entrance. Yeah, he's on one of these hoverboard wheelie things. Harada, Healing past the judges there. From what I've learned about Harada, ladies and gentlemen, Harada is what I like to call the, the, the showman of DDT. He loves to put on a show. He loves to entertain. He loves the flashy. He loves the dance. Oh, it's his own, he's, he's doing his own theme music. But that is, that is what Harada is to a T. He loves the showmanship. He loves entertaining. That's a... You know, if there was a sports entertainer in Japan, that would fit Harada to the T. One man will be walking out with two belts. Will it be Harada or will it be Doi? But but Harada didn't let the referee raise up his title. It was just, oh, they're going to do no, it one at a time. I guess rather than hold both, makes sense to lift it. Referee doing the checks. Ready to roll. So what this match is going to come down to... Oh, wait, what? We haven't started. Oh, apparently we've all misconstrued this. Did we? So, he said how he, everybody needs to be on the level of Hirata. Um, yeah. Here are the Los Conquistadors bringing in new ring gear for Naruki Doi. Because... If he's gonna be on the same level as Hirata, he has to look he's like Hirata. Dress like Hirata. And judging just from from what we see from his appearance, Doi doesn't seem to be too pleased with this announcement. We're bringing out screens, modesty screens, except they're all on the. Who put these together? <laughs> Only in DDT, ladies and gentlemen. Only in DDT will you see someone live changing their gear right in the middle of the ring. A 
I think Doink might be uh, voicing his concerns. I mean, the big problem is we decided to get one screen that's bigger than the other three. So Doi is now in the side of these screens and I think we haven't even started the match and we've already got sort of an interval, I guess. Apparently, Doi, if, if he wants the DDT Extreme Championship and to keep the Iron Man Heavy Metalweight Champion, Chip, he, he's got to com comply with these. Well, there go his uh, arm uh, attachments and uh, but, uh, his that, elbow pads, by the looks of it. I thought that was his tights. Mm. Knee pads, I think, as well. Yeah. I think he's making him change his ring boots. Which I guess is a relief. I, I, I don't have to imagine that would take a little, a little bit longer than just... I mean, if if they are much different to size, you know, in terms of foot size, you know, you can't really expect him to wear that sort of... I'm trying to work out if the black... The black... Conquistador is actually Honda. Face-wise, it kind of looks Honda-esque. Possibly. I don't know who the other one is. He's, he's unpantsed. Oh! It almost looked like Harada was going to throw the black and red tights of Doi out into the crowd, but he didn't. Another presentation, and look at that, Doi is dressed like Harada. Still got one band. I guess that's to explain to the people that don't know who Hirata is. There's still one band on his arm that isn't right. Ah, it's got the all clear from the uh, the judges. And now we can officially go. So it's Hirata versus... Hirata? Okay. Colin Del Voltaire. Doi now with the wrist control. Uh, Hirata with a nice counter into a hammerlock. Doi counters into a hammerlock of his own into the headlock. Headlock takeover. Head scissors. Nicely done. A little bit of a stalemate. Or maybe we should say that on the level. Here between Hirata and Doi. And Nadoi went a kick right to the gut. And a big swinging neck breaker. Oh. Wait, wait. Does this meet with the judge's approval? She says that that ain't... That's not his way. That's not Harada's way. That's not on the level of Harada. Up and over goes Doi. Uh oh, there's another buzzer. Bring it out to a new eye. Can't do anything like that. In a Hir the Hirata way. And Hirata doesn't start getting on the level of Hirata. He's going to lose his Iron Man Heavy Metalweight Championship. But now Harada 
Again with that showmanship. Did all of that for a, a, a headlock. And Doi with an immediate counter into a hammerlock. But now a snapmare by Doi. Is Doi going to do the same thing? Is Doi going to do the Harada way? He's double checking with him to say what he's got to say. He does the jump, does the spin, does the headlock, oh, no. and Harada with a counter. Oh, nice suplex right there by Doi. And again, ladies and gentlemen, remember, not one, but two championships are on the line in this match. The DDT Extreme Championship and the Iron Man Heavy Metalweight Championship. And say something like that, that is not the Hirata way. How many chances are they going to give Doi in this match to be on the level of Harada? The Boston. Doi's got the Boston Crab on Harada in the middle of the ring. The question is, do the judges feel that this is the Harada way? The Boston would be a move that Hirata would use, so that's why it's, it's okay. But I think Hirata's just about gets to the ropes. He was in it for a while, though. Green bomb. Well, he's getting the crowd fired up like Harada does. Missed the clothesline. Oh, but Harada with a kick. And now Harada's turn. Off the ropes. Oh, Doi with a boot. Off the ropes. Oh, clothesline by Harada. Harada now firing himself up. Once again, off the ropes, but Doi catches him. Oh, oh, what a maneuver there by Doi. He was just about to go for it, but then, of course, it is not the Hirata way. Again, I ask, how many chances will Natsuki Doi have before they decide to throw out the match and award the Ironman Heavy Metalweight Championship and the Extreme Championship to Harada. Oh, Harada went for that knee and I'm sorry, Doig went for that knee and Harada got out of the way and once again he went for that... Go ahead. Sort of a shiny wizard. Oh. Oh, back elbow All by right, Doi. Right. Now Doi off the ropes. Oh, Harada. Um, I'm not sure what that was. Tried to go for the anime move, and Doi was not having none of it. Oh, wait a minute. Delayed oh, reaction. It, it took a while. Oh, Harada's got his glasses! But wait a minute, Doi's back up! Doi with the anime chop! Doi hits the Harada anime chop!
What's he going for? No, I don't know what he's going for. That! That neat to the face of Harada and a three. We got a new champion. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. The wait. The judges. The, the judges say no. That's not the Harada way. Judges are, I think, saying if you were truly Harada. You would fin you wouldn't finish the match before doing the uh, the dance. So because the dance has not been fulfilled, it is not the way of Hirata. Doi's gonna have to channel some dancing. If he wants to keep his title and the DDT Extreme Championship, We're giving him the robe as well. All the bells on and everything. The music is playing. He's got to dance. It, he's got his he's dance. Got to do the dance at the right point. Well, he's he's doing a dance. He's doing some dancing. Right. Yeah. Harada, almost with a look of disbelief on his face. Oh, wait a minute, Harada! Harada from behind! Harada from behind with a rope on Doi! Oh. Only a two! Well, the music's still going because the glasses are still on. The arc, right, small package, small package! And only a two! No. Doi off the ropes! Harada! Now what? Harada's got a the small package! Harada's got a small package into three! Miracle. The miracle one shot cradle. Harada has done it! Harada has retained not only the DDT Extreme Championship, but he is now a dual champion. Winning the Iron Man Heavy Metal Weight Championship. It's a mic, I don't think he's happy. Rada is a double champion in DDT. So showing his respects to Doi for the match. Giving his props to Doi for being on the, the Neville level. One thousand five hundred and seventy fourth. I am man heavy metal weight champion. Also his third defense, to be fair. Oh, well, Karata's 
A rat is looking for something. At least I think he's looking for something. Yep, there is a letter. Oh, that's what he was looking for. Can I contain himself? He whoa what what he wants a match with Hiromu Takahashi of New Japan. That's that's an interesting dilemma. Then again, we've seen El Desperado in recent months, so. I think he's pleading his case to uh, wanting a match with uh, Hiromu. What the hell? Well, did, did he sound like he, like he was retching? Reading his case still. Considering how tiny this card is, it's a very long letter. <laughs> Some music playing in the background as well. Exactly. So that's the letter read. That's him stating his case. Will will the offer get accepted? I guess we'll have to keep an eye on all the social medias. Keep. Oh wait, what? What? Whoa! Whoa! whoa. Oh, yeah, we won't have to wait, wait. wait a minute! Wait a minute! Oh, wait, one, two, two. Oh. no! Well, there he is! There he is! Hiromu is here. Hiromu Takahashi! He tried, have, he tried to have a cheeky cheeky pin to try and get the uh the Iron the Man belt. The Iron Man yeah, the uh, the heavy metal white belt and Hirata's in shock. He's here. Just saying that he was, you know, he was trying to take a chance at winning the DDT belt, but he will, uh, I don't think it's going to be for a title. He's just, it's going to be an exhibition style match. 
He accepts. And, uh, interestingly, by the, by the looks of it, it's going to be November the 12th. DDT's ultimate party. Rio Goko Kukigan. A.K.A. Saki's last match before she retires. So I guess we now have two big matches. Yeah, exactly. Show. New Japan's showman versus DDT's showman. Along with Saki's retirement against We Still Don't Know. You know, considering it's showman versus showman, it's a it. It seems fair. It's on a show that's going to be called Ultimate Party. And again, he would be. I think he would be free for it because. Around around that time for November December would be World Tag League in New Japan, as it usually is at the end of the year. So, What's the ref doing? What are they doing a pointing there? Oh, I see. They're they're having quite the conversation they're, they're here. They're now they're now establishing why it has to be November twelfth because he doesn't want it to be Kurikan. He wants it. He wants it in a big plot. And we get Hiromu's music in DDT. <laughs> Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hiromu, Hiromu, what a roll up. Whoa. Oh, the two. He, he tried to do it again. Again, folks, the Iron Man Heavy Middleweight Championship is a 24-7 title in DDT. He left the belts behind <laughs> He's all right. He doesn't want the belt. But he's still recognized as a dual champion in DDT. I don't believe the belts are on the line for the match of Hiromu, but we'll see. Oh, he's off. Oh, he didn't want to go through the curtain. He went around the curtain. <laughs> he wanted to give chase. Well, no, because uh, Hirata went through the red door. He went the wrong way. <laughs> he went the wrong way. Now, considering, let's check what is next up. is the six-man tag du dual championships, I guess. The all-Japan six-man tag belts and the uh, and the DDT KOD six-man tag belts. And Billy at least knows one of the three people here. Yes. Ram Kai Chow. Six, six, six. Who looks like she's just here for a leisurely stroll in the park? Kodaka Asami, who I think is a Gambare champion. That's the belt that he has. 
Saw this guy at the Beer Garden show. Yuko. Yuko Miyamoto of 666 and Big Japan and whatever. Been wrestling for about 20 years. And then for about the same, but on and off, because there was a spell of retirement, Ram Kaichou. For the champs. The dual champs, if you will. We've already had somebody with two belts. How about a bunch of free people with six belts, Billy? I know. Be thankful that Saki doesn't have the uh, Tokyo Joshi tag belts either, otherwise it'd be seven. Yeah. <laughs> The last time we saw, well, they weren't together in the six-person tag, but the third the third partner did come out to partake in it. Uh, they were in a drunk wrestling match where they were oh. taking shots of tequila every two minutes. Hopefully it hasn't affected them. They're not worse aware. Sakaguchi. Yeah, Another I... one where it's like, where has he got the uh, <laughs> the apple from? Because uh, I'm just double checking. Yep. He uh, he turned 50 about a month and a half ago. He's 50 years old. Okatani, who's only 22, 23 in a month or two. Saki, who will be retiring by the show that we told you about, the November 12th show. And then Sakaguchi, the veteran. All of them representing the eruption stable in DDT. Kiso is here. Kiso is here. Kiso Daisuke. Has he made it back in time from the, the Tokyo Yoshi show, maybe? I won't know until the, uh, the thing airs on. All right, do we have two officials for this match? Well, the other one might be an All Japan official because of the black shirt. But to be fair, he's also been refereeing the rest of the matches pretty well so far. It's just Kiso's just randomly appeared. So I'm wondering whether he was trying to make it over from the tea show if it did happen. And then he's got, got a train to go back to another tea show. Oh, it looked like Ryan went to start for... Her team, Okatani, said, no, I don't want you there. It's going to be the two men that faced in the tables match at the yeah, Beer Garden Miyamoto. show. Miyamoto and Okatani. And in that match, Okatani went head first into a table courtesy of Miyamoto. But a lot more on the line in this match. Not one, but two six-man championships. Up for grabs. Here we go. Almost a feeling out process between Miyamoto and Okatani here. Okatani would have looked like it was a headlock. And... Well, people, yeah, I, I just realized the last time we saw these two together in the thing, like you said, was that table match. It was Miyamoto that put ok Okatani uh, put Okatani through the table eventually in the like paddling pool where the water flew everywhere. 
to maybe Okatani out for a little bit of revenge. Hopefully no tables will be involved. Knowing our luck, they will be. Tag, here comes... Sakaguchi tagging in, but they're going in for the triple team. Team Eruption. The champions. Here we go. There's Okatani. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Miyamoto up and over. And then oh. avoid Saki. Could not... It's like, oh, oh a no. little bit of a miscue. Exactly. Miyamoto avoided the contact in the boot by Saki. Tags in Kodaka. And uh, if you can't tell that these are hardcore wrestlers, look at all the scars on Kodaka's body. And now both men there just... Are, Go ahead. There are marks that have marks. There are that many <laughs> abrasions and whatever on his skin. Even Sabu... There's like scars within scars. Sabu would say <laughs> that's a bit much. But now Sakaguchi in a world of trouble. No putting moments of this match. Ready. That's the advantage that of Sakaguchi has with his height and whatever means if you've got a submission, you've really got to do it in the center because he can probably just stretch out his leg and probably get in. And well, Ram is now. Well, this is Ram. Oh, Ram's doing well with some boots. Yep. Lean into I mean, Sakaguchi. Keep him down because once but, uh, he's up, um, that's a differential in height. Differential in height, size, and I would say I would say add to, but I, oh, I think Ram's got a pretty hardcore <laughs> attitude, and she don't care. The double the double gun salute from Ram with the face buster on Sakaguchi for the two six man titles, and Sakaguchi kicks out. Learn that off Raku. That's a very Raku-esque face buster. That's what I'm saying. To be fair, even if she gets in with Saki, can't say that there's equal there because Saki is going to be at least a foot higher than Ram is. Sakaguchi. Oh, trying to fight his way out of the corner. Connect and now him and Miyamoto. Just trading shots of Miyamoto with the knee. And now off the ropes with the fist drop. Right to the face. Right across the head. Tags in Okadaka. Now with the, with the head scissors. The figure four style head scissors. Just as, eff as effective as a regular sleeper. He's cutting off that flow of blood to the brain, making it difficult for Sakaguchi to breathe. He's nearly there. One thing I will say about Sakaguchi basically wrestling barefoot. Just has his kick pads over his uh, feet to keep them in a good position. Well, speaking that, of that, there's a kick. Beautifully done by Sakaguchi. However, he is in desperate need of a tag. But look at Okadaka. is trying to prevent it by holding that, holding that leg. Oh, and an elbow from Miyamoto. Smart move by the challenging team. Isolating Sakaguchi here. Keeping him away from Team Eruption's corner. And again, I don't know how much more of this Sakaguchi can take. It's an opposite corner. Oh my God! What a kick! And here comes He's Okatani. Gonna check on. It's like he's checking on Sakaguchi with looks at. No, Okatani going to work on Odaka. One man flapjack off the ropes. Big clothesline. And now Okatani to cover to retain it only a two. Oh, 
Okatani and Seki have to sit in the corner for at least a good five, six minutes and watch as Sakaguchi was punished by the other team. Look at the power of Okatani. Oh, but wait a minute. Odaka. Suplex here, Ash? He's trying. He's trying. That's a bit too much for him. No! But we got back up! Oh, oh what a shot! Oh, oh my god! Can someone check if Okatani saw as his head? Because Odaka oh. damn near clotheslined it off. Oh, Saki! Saki and Ram! Saki and Ram! Ram with the kick! Saki off the ropes! Oh, she put on the brakes! Oh, Ram caught the boot! No, he can't go for the poke. Because she's too. T oh, oh, Ram! Ram! Oh. Almost with the inside cradle! Drop toe hold! Double oh. stomp to the back! Ram immediately goes for the pin and only a two! Ram said it's over. She's got her in the waist lock. Ripcord. Oh, the Ram Maker. The Ram Maker. No, oh, pump oh. kick. Kicked in the head instead. Uh oh. A Ram. Oh. A Ram's got that, that small Whoa. spies. That, oh, she got caught. Oh, a yank of hair and down goes Ram. No, oh, oh, PK. Ram dodge, dodge the kick. Roll do, dodge the PK. Drop kick by Ram. And now Ram tags in Miyamoto. Oh boy. Yep. Saki's in trouble now. Wait, wait a minute. Saki is getting right back up. Saki now laid it. Oh, big chop by Miyamoto. Oh my god, another huge chop. Oh god. And no, Miyamoto just all over Saki. Oh, wait a reversal by Saki. Miyamoto into the corner. Saki comes in. Oh, runs right into a, a kick. Oh my god, so we're gonna, Oh, look at those. Oh my god! Spin wheel kick! But Miyamoto takes down Saki! Going for the power bomb. Oh block! Saki gets down. She does. Oh look at look at that takedown! Oh it's she's a... it's in a triangle! It's a triangle! She's got the triangle on Miyamoto! Seki using her long legs to her advantage in this triangle. Uh, but, but Miyamoto. Miyamoto's already back up in the scene. And look at Miyamoto's power. Miyamoto, one hand. Oh, Okatani! Okatani with the save. Okatani with the save. I'm hoping it. Miyamoto Daka. Sends Okatani to the outside and a shot on Sakaguchi. And now Saki is double all by... Yep, Maybe Saki. triple team. I don't see any ram. I don't see ram either. Oh, clothesline. And oh, double knees by Miyamoto. Oh, and Miyamoto once again. Oh, Whoa. Saki got out of the way. Close line. Odaka and a kick from Sakaguchi to Miyamoto. And a double team kick by eruption. Saki goes for the cover to retain it. Ram breaks it up. Ram sent. Yeah, Ram sensing that that was it. Again, just Saki made it. Sakaguchi gets the tag. Oh, and triple team time. Triple team time for the for team eruption. Oh man! Oh Katani with the elbow. Oh double, oh, double team kick. kick! Could that be it for me? A Mudo and somehow Daka breaks it up off the top. And now Saki is all over Odaka. Now oh, double with the helping. Oh, they went for a double team clothesline. They avoid contact. Ram tilt the roll head scissors. Takes down Otaki. Oh, Katani, I'm sorry. 
Uh oh. Even these names are easy to say. Going up ahead of steam. Oh, Tope! Oh, Doctor with a Tope! Token Oh, oh my God! God, what the? I mean, that was... Wait a minute, Ram with a cross body on Sakaguchi. Oh, wait a minute, Saki! What? With the kick, laser, Whoa. laser beam shot. Okatani with the shotgun kick. No, Okatani. Oh, Miyamoto, that very move. Miyamoto drove Okatani's head through. And the beer guard. Oh, and then Sakaguchi's back up. Pop oh, kick. God's right knee. God's right knee by Sakaguchi. Eruption retained. What a fast 30 to 45 seconds we had there at the end. Wow. Wow, I can breathe now. Holy crap. First successful defense with the DDT belt. Second successful defense with the uh, All Japan belt. Miyamoto hit that, that sit-up tombstone. The very maneuver... He drove Okatani through with the table with at the beer garden, but then forgot about Sakaguchi, who then connected with God's right knee, and it was lights out for Miyamoto as Team Eruption retained both of their six man t tag team titles. And now look at this confrontation. Odaka so staring down. and Sakaguchi having a stare down. And a little show of respect. Between the two. Kodaka does have that belt. I was trying to double check as to what it was. Um... Congratulations to Team Eruption. Ram the Spirit of Gambare World Openweight Championship. The belt that he currently has. A Team Eruption. Darren Tall with the All Japan and DDT Six Man Tag Team Championships. At this rate. Who's Taki going to lose it to when she retires in about two months? Or are they going to... Is she going to basically uh, vacate the belt of sorts and then uh, somebody else takes it? Or in the stable, I don't know. I'll tell you one thing, though. DDT won't be the same without Saki Akai there. surprised if we maybe have an interval here which will ride through live rather than try and skip time so we've seen already some amazing action and and the one thing that still that's still on my mind from earlier tonight ash they have until october 4th to quote unquote purify themselves the, yeah. the pheromone army. Do you believe that they can do it? Do you believe that the pheromones can cease being sexy in time to save themselves from being disbanded as a stable in DDT? I would have thought so. It's basically being not as not as crude. Because at certain points we've seen them be relatively minor in crudeness. Then also, that, to go ahead. Not being crude. Then of course, um, uh, we also had the crowning of a new champion and re and one retaining their championship, becoming a dual champion. Hirata retaining the DDT Extreme Championship and also winning the Ironman 
heavy metalweight championship. But what about the, that appearance of Hiromu from New Japan, Ash? That took me Big off surprise. guard. I did not. I mean, I thought we were going to get like a slow build rather than, oh no, he's showing up literally right now to accept. Um, we're still getting the ring ready for the upcoming match, the death match. Uh, the explosion so death Some match. sort of pyro that's been taped to the ring posts. And it looks as if we've got bats at the ready with barbed wire around them. Uh, I was going to quickly see if there was any uh, significant stuff coming up that we could promote to people that they might be able to catch live or on archive over the next few weeks and whatever, depending when this go gets put up, of course, Billy. But um... Well, you know when it's going to get put up. <laughs> Immediately so, when we're done. Yeah, so ba within... Within the next few days, there'll be an archive of both Tokyo Yoshi uh, shows that happened this past weekend, uh, which is key because the main events of both are, from what I can tell, uh, Tornado Tag Freeway matches to determine uh, the finalists for new Princess of Princess Tag Champs there. Uh, the match on Saturday at the same time as this one featured Shoko Nakajima and Hyper Marcel versus Hikari Noah and Nao Kakuta versus Raku and Pom Harajuku. And then in the Sunday show, the other match is Rika Tatsumi and Miyu Watanabe of Daydream versus Kamiyu, uh, Yuki Kamafuku and uh, Mahara Kiryu, aka Toho University. As a oh big barbed wire board is brought in. Oh, uh, and geez. Suzuki and Arisu Endo of Daisy Monkey, uh, also in action. I'm uh, sorry, that, that board covered in barbed wire just screams owie. We've also got Arja Kong uh, back in Tokyo Joshi on September 16th, which I believe is being broadcast live on, uh, on Wrestle Universe. So you will be able to catch that one. Uh, Probably in the late hours, in or around, uh, if you do watch, in or around SmackDown or Rampage finishing. I'm not entirely sure when, because the times can fluctuate, but it'll be in around that time. So it's sort of a, a late evening. Probably, probably late evening. It probably will finish just before midnight, I would have thought. Uh, and then... We've also, oh no, I don't think it is actually. The one that is being broadcast is uh, Saki Akai and Yuki Arai's last matches of the Rewa AA Cannon tag team at Nagoya. It's that show that's being broadcast live. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and of course, on that same day, but we won't be able to see it until it gets put up on archive, uh, Minoru Suzuki versus Takagi wrestling on that bullet train. <laughs> oh yeah, which is which should be fun. I mean, if it's trains, I hope Raku is involved. So okay, I, I, the 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 interval didn't go as long as I thought. We probably have time because they got to clear all this out the ring. So Yusuke Okada of Burning, Takagi, the boss, Sanshiro Takagi, who's got the T-shirt that's saying, "Look, I'm wrestling on a train." <laughs> Fair play. Show the merch to sell the show. I don't blame him. And, and then Junaki Yama. I mean, I guess the only way to be on the map, the only way to be in. Uh oh, that music means five people are here. Four of them are John Moxley, and the other one is the guy that did it originally. <laughs> At Sushi Onita. Vet, you know, if you are not aware of him, him and Akiyama have history through FMW, you know, all, all Japan, Noah, like loads of stuff over the 90s and 2000s. Somehow he's still wrestling. Apparently he's got a panda with him as his handler. <laughs> Toy Kojima. Then Yoshitatsu. 
That hardcore wrestler Yoshitatsu. In his respects to Funk, I think. Well, that was more like a Sabu thing pointing up in the sky like that. Yeah, but of course, you know, Onita and Funk went at it many a time. Well, FMW is where the whole everything happened, of course. Torawashi on uh, Japanese commentary. Apparently. So here we go. For the first time inside a building rather than an outside show in a, a number of years, we're getting explosions. <laughs> I don't know which explosions, but there'll be explosions. Oh, oh, missed it already from Onita. Wow. Oh, and a kick out by Junakiyama. Who is green, and but he is not green with envy. Like kind of amazing, Onita. He's T to be fair, th the comparisons to Funk are fair because I think he's retired about seventy-four times. Also, he has become. He did become a politician. <laughs> Somehow, fair play to him. But and now we're going somewhere. Oh God, we're going in the front row, right by the pretty ladies' dresses. Get get all the gray. Get all the them in. Oh, oh! Somebody's lost their water. I blame the panda. I mean, to be fair, we've got, you know, Akiyama being 53 oh! years of age. And Donita is 65. I think their combined ages are more than the other four wrestlers in this match combined. <laughs> I think you'd be right about that. Somewhere close to that. Akiyama off the ropes with a knee. Donita goes for the cover and only a two. And now Akiyama with a guillotine. Yeah, I'm just looking. Cage match lists. Giant Barber, the Destroyer, and Terry Funk as his trainer. So we can thank Funk for why he just wants to blow people up. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, one of the last times we saw him blow somebody up, um, Jerry Janela nearly lost his arm. Oh! Oh! Kojima's... Oh, now we got fighting on the outside! We're counting down for something, though. Wait a minute. Takagi's in the ring! Ow! With Onada! Onita's in a lot of trouble here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Oh. Wait. Wait. He's what? given the signal. He's given. Oh, no. The bat is ready. Oh, no. Oh, wait a minute. Onita. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. This has got. This has got disaster written all over it. Oh. The Kagi, what an exploding bat! To the chest of Onita, goes for the cover and, took, and they got breaking up. That was insane! So now it's uh, 
Napoli and Okada. Not that one. Oh, headbutt by Okada. Off the rocks, oh boy! And now Toy, full Nelson bomb. Oh wait! Oh no! He's got the barbed wire back. Oh, got to the back, and again to the back. He isn't. He didn't signal with the explosion. He didn't want to it, blow it up. I guess it's still barbed wire on flesh. I mean, yeah, that is fair, but. Well, I think that chair is broken. Yeah, yeah, Toy Kojima, you might want to get a different chair. There you go. Get rid of that chair. That, that chair is broken as well. Oh, no. Oh, oh Anita oh. and Takagi having fun in the uh, in the crowd area. Oh, no. Toy Kojima is set up. There's a barbed wire board. Hold on. Is he going to do what I think he's going to do? What is he doing? Oh, oh no. He, he set off the alarm. He's, he's, he's activated the explosives on the board. Oh, no. Oh, there's that barbed wire bat to the midsection. And now he's laying the bat on the on board. The wow. Oh, no. I think it's just I think it's just the board that's going to explode as well. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Okada's blocking it. Okada's blocking no, it. No, he's... he's Okada. He's rotating 180 degrees to try and re oh, no. reverse it into one oh, of his own. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh, 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 oh it's, got him, it's got him on the top. Oh no. No way. Oh no, shoved him down. Oh, Toy, yeah, Toy, oh, oh no, oh no, oh, oh, no, oh, oh, no, 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 Board with barbed wire. Every time I see an explosion, I think that's the end of the match. But we've barely been going five minutes. Okada with the, the cover. Okada with a cover. And Tatsu with the save. Yoshi Tatsu. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that Yoshi Tatsu with the save. I don't know if you call that a save or. Prolonging their agony. You find them like, oh, it might be one and the same. Junakiyama got a chair to the midsection of Yoshitatsu. They're getting rid of that that exploding barbed wire board. The bat's still there, though. Apparently. Tatsu's got the chair! chair shot. Some chair shots on Akiyama. God, I, I, we've seen extreme. Ma oh no! Onita's got the barbed wire bat. Oh, oh, and then he's not, and now they're gonna turn on the explosives again. They're turning it on again. Tatsu is holding Junakiyama, and Onita, Onita's gonna swing for the fences. It connects. Exploding bat. To Akiyama and oh He's Takagi, my God! Like I said, Ash, we've seen extreme matches before, but this is taking it to another level. We thought what they did in Game Changer Wrestling was extreme. Oh, and another oh, more miss, more miss by Anita this time to Takagi. Takagi is blind! Oh, hold on. Wait a minute, Yoshitatsu! Ta Yoshitatsu! Oh, no. Well, oh, no. Oh, no! Is this a baseball bang sandwich? No, I, I know yeah. what this is. Oh, oh, my God! That's it, Takagi's dead. That's it. Takagi's dead. That's it. There's no way. Takagi's Somebody dead. Him. That's it, do Wait, it. Yeah. Pin him, get him to a hospital. Pin him and get him to a hospital. Two and three. Now get him to a hospital. And and, and to think. He's somehow, convulsing. He's convulsing. 
somehow in just over a week, he's got to recover from this and take on Suzuki on the bullet train. The man took not one, but two exploding barbed wire bats. One to one to his bread basket and one to his back. Get that man to a hospital. And Onita is taking time to put on they're putting on their jackets. Junakiyama and Okada not happy. Takagi Takagi needs to lay back down and let him take him out on a gurney. Get that man to a hospital. Get some water on him, damn it. I mean, there's one thing. There's. Wait a minute. Onita. Oh, oh, Takagi's face. What the. No, he's getting him to stand back up. Out of respect? Oh. Get into a burn unit for Christ's sake! There's a difference between being tough and being dumb. And he's uh, uh, uh with that w words for, for Junakiyama? Wait, what? Oh wait, we're not done. <laughs> oh, of course. I need wearing an Anita it. and Aksu are currently. Uh, let me get the name of the belt correct so I do not balls it up. The All Asia Tag Team Championships. From uh, all Japan. He's got the mic again. <laughs> they last defended those belts at all Japan back in mid mid to late July. In a barbed wire barricade map, Megaton current black death match. Huh? <laughs> I mean, I see a lot of current blasts. Wait, wait a minute. Look at the wait, wait, wait. Everyone barbed in the wait, wait, hold on. Right, everyone in the crowd are on their feet. I think we're having uh, a show of respect oh. to Funk. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah, I heard him say Terry Funk's name. In terms of what he just said, he's willing to put those tag titles on the line. Oh, God. <laughs> Is that actually him done? Or is he, does he need the mic again? So I, I think I now confirm. Oh, look at that. Onita and Tatsu will be putting those tag belts on the line against the two that didn't get... Well... Both got hit with explosions, but. Or both were involved in explosions, I should say. Against Akiyama and Kotaro Suzuki. At. Uh... <laughs> the craziness that is. Jeez. Uh... I just noticed. Wow. So. The 18th of September is a busy day, really. Really? We have Reiwa AA Cannon wrestling uh, at the same time, if not slightly before Tokyo Yoshi, the bullet train match, because I believe it's a certain time from a certain station to another station. Then we've got a Basara show also that day, and then the dramatic explosion 
show at Nagoya. So at the same venue. So DDT are doing an evening show at the same venue that TJ are doing the show at in the morning slash afternoon. Um, so yeah, the, the match that was already set for Akiyama and Suzuki versus Tatsu and Onita will now be for those All Japan Tag Titles. Oh, and I've just noticed as well the main event for that show. Oh. Oh, what that is. Is that October or is that September? I never... I believe it's September because the... It's it's year month day. And look, you were just talking about that September eighteenth. Well, there, there is a show today. There is a DDT show today. Uh, oh, an outdoor theater. Oh, with a Sendai Girl special with Millie McKenzie on the card. Hello, good to see. Then that's the the eighteenth. Is uh, the one I told you about the. Explosion death match. Yes. There we go. Thirteen oh nine. So it will be around the same time as the tea show is happening. The Oof. fight on the bullet train. Uh, the reason why I mention it is because Suzuki will be teaming with Saki and Sakaguchi that evening to take on Mao, Honda, and Brooks in a six-man tag. And then, yes, for the show September twenty-fourth, Maki Ito challenges for the DDT Universal Championship. Against her longtime rival, Matt Cardona. Will we get Maki with the DDT Universal belt? Then we've got God Bless DDT. And then Ultimate Party coming up. I don't think we've got any cards for them because they're like a month ahead. Although we do know on Ultimate Party, we're going to be having Saki's farewell match. And uh, as just announced or confirmed earlier, the Hirata versus Hiromu match. I think that's everything. Everything major, at least. DDT wise, that they're going through. Yeah, the, the the show that's happening today, the DDT show. Um, yeah, we've got but uh, the tag the six man tag champs versus Hirata Union Illusion. Chihiro Hashimoto team with Millie McKenzie versus Lena Cross and Eureka Oka, which is the Sendai Girl special showcase thing. Mm -hmm. uh, Hino and Ashida. Versus Akiyama and Yukio Naya in a special tag. And then Brooks, Harashima, and Masada versus Ueno Mao and Toy Kojima in a special six man. So it's only four matches, but then it is an outdoor theater sort of show. So it's a sort of mini card, if you will. Uh, they're also doing a little show for Endo's Homecoming. That. Uh... Wait. Oh, there we go, yeah. Endo, o Okada, and Koroku versus Sakaguchi, Saki, and Okatani. So I don't know whether that will be have titles on the line. I don't know. We'll have to see. That's at the White Cube in Miyagi. Some of these venues have got brilliant names. Um, on that note, I hope Tech, they, they got Takagi to a frickin' burn unit or a hospital after what he went through in that match. Just get some water on him. He didn't look in too much pain, you know. I'd, I'd, if anything, the, the thing would have really been sort of the yeah, the explosion flare things that really would have done the most damage compared to previous <coughs> matches that I've seen with Onita. That was relatively uh, mild. The one that I saw when Mackie swung a baseball bat at some other Joshi wrestler 
when she was wrestling with Onita. I guess because it was outside, they made the explosion louder, so it sounded worse. It sounded like an actual sort of massive bomb had gone off. By the way, a huge shout out to Where Vamp Rose and the the Twitch chat. The mats are ready. Everything's been prepared. It is now time for uh, our next title match. Our penultimate title match, I should say. The uh, tag belts on the line. With uh, Fujita and Cannon. Notable. Um, They're not coming out alone. Let the party begin. I've got snacks. While, while they're making their entrance, like Rose in, in their Twitch chat says, Pop in and say hi before going to bed. Just finished another session of, of D&D. You probably got to find out that you were not the person they thought you were. So yeah, the belts were va vacated after Shumakatsu Mata got injured when he and Mao were tag champs uh, early on in the year. And to determine new champions, uh, it was a match between Yuki Ueno and Toy Kojima of the 37 Kamiya, the same stable. But it was Damnation that won them, that won the vacant belts. Then only uh, they only held them for about six weeks, and then at Saki's anniversary show uh, last month, uh, Omega here they are mm -hmm. of Makoto Oishi and Yuji Hino, former uh, world champion himself, or well KOD Open Weight Championship, but it's the equivalent of the world title. It's the big belt to have. In DDT, it's the big singles belt. Uh, um, within only a week or so of dropping that belt to Chris, um, they got the titles off Sasaki and Paul in no time and were immediately challenged by, I guess you could say, the other half of Damnation, which is Cannon and Fujita. Also in the Twitch chat, Rose says, My character got kidnapped a few sessions back, and my replacement was also a changeling, so she shifted to look like my character. By the way, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, be sure you check out twitch.tv slash Rose. Go drop her a follow. She's an amazing streamer and an amazing person. You guys definitely would uh, like to follow her. As we're getting set for the... The Tag Team Championship match. Champs handing over the belts. Kiso ready to uh, show it to Damnation. And then the uh, display of the belts. So are we going to be... <clears throat> Are we going to see history repeat itself <clears throat> in that uh, are the champs going to lose in their first defense? Or are they going to manage to hold on and uh, fight another day? Fujita and Oishi starting off. So we're underway. Now we see plenty of Fujita in, in our time, especially in our time following Gato Move and Chaco Pro. Sure, he's very much. Uh, I mean, he's very raspy in his voice. <clears throat> I mean, if this was a singing competition, you would just get Fujita to basically lose his voice. Oh, well, and speaking of voice, it's a war of words before we even get to the tie up. As we wait for that, Rose in the Twitch chat also says, My fake character was supposed to kill the party when they slept, but a change of plans happened, and I had to convince them 
it goes somewhere else where they found Whoa. my oh my Jesus found my actual character. So now you play two characters at the moment, and Fajita is in a lot of trouble. Aichi, Aichi, correct? Oh, hello! Drop kick my Fajita. Canon. Canon. Canon, and that's not canon. It's canon. Well, it's probably pronounced canon. Like how Julia is spelled J U R I A, because. And Endo is a Risu because, rather than Alice or anything, so. But now Canon slam to Aichi. Now off the ropes, over on through. Ropes. Oh, puts on the brakes and. Oh! <laughs> no! Ow! Ow! Yeah, right. I don't... The guy knows to do how to deliver a slap. That's all you need to know. Wait a minute. Oh. Is that a cane? Oh, she's got his dick. Oh, yeah, I think it's. No! Oh, God! He's dancing Ooh, in the middle of the ring. The rain? He's singing in the rain. As a room, she's beating the shit out of somebody. Oh my god, Cannon! Cannon is... Oh no. Cannon is getting slapped and single leg crabbed. He's basically getting the crab beaten out of him. And Aichi is just dancing. Still doing a dance routine. Oh no. Oh, oh. my god! Jeez. And that's the end of a dance. And Cannon kicks out a two. Good lord. Oh, now. Oh, no. I with went with that Ooh, wrist tape. Wrist tape. Yeah. Cho choking Cannon with the wrist tape. And Kiso finally, finally got it. Saw it. He's going to go it again? He, he's... Yeah, he's trying to... Yeah. <laughs> and now the tag to the big man. The hero. Oh, no. Oh, big double back elbow. Aichi drops the elbow. And now hero... Oh, God, this is a big man. This is oh, a you. big man. Oh, Senton! Goes for the cover in only a two. Big swearing. A, a big swearing. I dread to think what we'd get if we had a match with Yuji Hino and Ram. It would just be F you. F <laughs> Headlock at the minute. Cannon trying to make it to the ropes. Hero's got to be at nearly the... there. Oh, he's got to. He's got to. He's trying to make... He also is trying to rearrange the facial features of Cannon. And Hero's got to be at least what about a biscuit over two seventy, two eighty. Oh my oh, we, we, god! We, 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 we've seen how powerful is that his matches with Higuchi are legendary. Like they had like six hundred chops oh. each, practically. Jeez, Higuchi's back in the ring. Fist drop. Or well, something. No, I think it was actually two hundred, but it felt like six hundred. <laughs> it probably hurt like six hundred too. Yeah, and of course, he really uh, ran Chris Brooks ragged, but Chris Brooks managed to get the upset win, if you want to call it that. Russell we'll sounds like we're having fun. In a little bit. Rose, thank you for being in the... Oh, man! In the Twitch chat. Rose, thank you for being in the Twitch chat. She says goodnight to, uh, to you as well, uh, Ash. Oh, goodnight, Rose. And uh, Fachita is now in the ring. Oh, jeez! With the forearm. Oh, he's tripping. You can see fajita has got quite a few scars himself. Oh! oh! Yeah, Eno does not appreciate that. <laughs> I don't think people, uh, I don't think Eno even felt that. Wait, does that count as a tag? I, I don't know. 
Apparently not. I don't even recognize it. Eno's like a Mack truck. It's going to take a lot to move him. Oh, Aichi. Avoids contact. Trying to make it to Eno. Trying to make it to his corner. And Eno's like... You didn't put any effort into it. Oh, well, wait a minute. Aichi looked like he was trying to go for the eye. Oh, right hand by Fachita. I well, was trying to grow for, go for the mask or go for the one eye that was available. No, Aichi There's makes the, the tag, point. and this is uh, not the best news. Oh, God, for Fachita. Oh, my God, again, the chop. You already seen the red welt mark starting to show on Fujita's chest. Oh my god! And Eno, oh my god, just T-bone suplex by Eno. Eno is again looks like it'll be a biscuit over two eighty. Jaw jacker by Fujita. Eno wants for a clothesline to miss. Step up. Bit of the bubbly. Emota with some bubbly. Emota, welcome to the chat. We are in the middle of a tag team match from DDT's Big Bang oh. Show. Cannon comes in with a clothesline. No, oh, my God! Hey, but Cannon's still on his feet. Cannon is still on his feet. Whoa. Chop to Edo. I don't know if that's the man you want to uh -oh. be. Oh, no. Oh, no. Emota, if you want to join us. We are in. We're in my Discord. I think this is something you would like to see. Time for the slapping section. Oh, cut on! Oh my God, those shots! Oh, cut on response. Oh, there's one for Ken. God, I'm just gonna let these sounds speak for themselves. Just relaxing your heart from Demon Out. Even I could have told you that, Amoda. I'm down to one knee, but he's come back. Oh my! Jesus, these shots! God, look at Cannon's chest! It's beat red! On the verge of purple! Oh, was... Yeah, and some. And he, he knows. Some of oh, his oh, chest oh, oh. to get quite a bit red as well. To be fair. But that's a massive chest, this though. Panel are pretty, uh, pretty effective, to be fair. Another Tebow. No, that was a belly to back. Oh, no! My God! Drop, Drop kick, kick by Cannon! Oh, oh my dear. God! That went just a lariat. That was a lariat from a brick house. And I mean that in the nicest way possible. Amoto, I don't know if it means anything, but I have Demonologist. Aichi, oh, reversal by Cannon into the corner. Oh, block from right hand, right hand by Aichi. Amoto, would you like to join us for our main event? Main events. We've got two matches left. We got two matches left. I'm oh. gonna... Go for the tilt on the wall from the Brett's rope, but oh, poking the eyes. See, uh -oh. oh no, this is bad, bad for Canon. Vegeta got knocked off the the ring apron. Ain't Head you... button in the back. Oh, this is bad. Canon, this is bad for Canon. Hey, oh my. Got close line in the corner from Hino. And now Aichi with a drive by. German suplex by Hino. Now look at this. Crucifix driver by Aichi and Fujita breaks it up. And minutes past, I think. Calling them up. Uh, 
sort of claw, I think. It's hard to tell from the angle. Yeah, it was. Well, oh, back shot. fist, spinning back Big fist. Head. Oh, a close line. Oh, for the DDT Tag Team Championship. Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow by Cannon. Only a two. Only a two. Now Cannon said it's over. Cannon's got him up. Oh, but you know. No! Well, that's one way to stop the move. Oh, my God. Those knife edge chops. Oh, wait a oh. minute. Behind the referee's back. MJ Paul getting involved. Cannon what? takes out Eno. Oh, wait a minute. Aichi. Wait a minute. Oh, roll through. Oh, roll through. Oh. A boat. Oh. Cobra? Cobra Twist? He's going for the Cobra Twist. Can he lock it in? You gotta get that. It 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 it, it looks it looks like Aichi it looks like Aichi maybe Yeah, but it looks like Aichi's trying for maybe either get to the ropes or maybe a triangle lancer. Vegeta and Paul doing their best to try and Oh, he locked. It's officially in. The Cobra Twist, also known as the Abdominal Stretch, locked into Aichi for the DDT Tag Team Titles on the line. Him back. Center of the ring. And now raining down on the elbows in the midsection of Aichi. And now it's a seated Cobra Twist. Aichi is in so much trouble. Titles on the line. Oh, and Aichi taps out. We got new champions. We've got new DDT tag team champions. In Vegeta and Cannon of Damnation. because obviously you expect champions to usually get at least one defense in then again of course damnation you know themselves were as I mentioned earlier recipients of that issue so damnation get back the belts it was also a numbers game for damnation that third person on the outside with that steel chair yeah MJ Paul had to be MJ Paul because uh, the other Damnation members are getting ready for our next match. The first of the two, I, I'd say the double main event to some extent, considering it is uh, AEW star Takeshi to the involve with it. About it, we are watching this in my Discord. If you would like to join us. And a, you know, thinking everybody's number one. A double finger guns. Clown last guy. In essence, Paul told us what was going to finish the match because he's got a t-shirt that says Cobra Twist. <laughs> the evidence was there all along, Billy. New champs. New tag team champions. Means only one thing. You Yuki Ueno. And 
now. Former, of course, partners of Takeshita. For he apparently just turned his back on them. Well, we know why he turned his back on him. He's under the influence of Don Callis. Even when Don Callis isn't here, the invisible hand still has its way. One thing Yuki Ueno and Mao need to realize is that this is not the same Takeshi that they that they know. This is not the Takeshi that was their friend. This is a. Di it's not even technically. It's not even damnation because Takeshi, I don't think, is officially affiliated with them. It's just Sasaki put his hand out backstage in the post-match thing, like it was like a I mean, Marvel movie. And it's a post-credit sequence. And the hand was taken, and uh... Paul's back. Because again, Dan A should have to have the numbers advantage. That's almost their MO. And then here's Takeshita. Who not coming out to his farty music like he has in <laughs> Amoto says do I remember a, my taunts what you're gonna have to refresh my mind as we're as we now see the uh, darkened Takeshita and I don't mean in color I mean in his heart the darkened Takeshita crazy two weeks it's been for him All out beating Kenny in the uh, six man, was it? Or was it eight man? I can't remember. It was a six man. And then getting the singles victory as well last weekend at All Out. And then goes and uh, heads back to Japan. You got to figure the fame. More of a deal. And DDT. Yeah, you gotta figure the, the fans of DDT are wondering what happened to Takeshita. What happened to the young man who smiled a lot, who was happy go lucky, who who had a cheerful cheerful attitude around them and around the other wrestlers. This is not the same man that they once knew. Look at the look of and Mal in Yuki Ueno's face towards Takeshita. Saki wants a handshake. Saki from Damnation <laughs> wanted a handshake. I didn't think that was going to happen. And we are starting Ooh, with, with the guys who went at it a few weeks back. One on one. That big match that they had. Ueno and Takeshita. Which, uh, from what I remember, if I quickly check, I'm pretty sure Takeshita won that. At the uh, double check. Colin will tie up Takeshita now with a headlock. As we welcome in Jamper into the commentary position, as we're here for our, our semi main event. On DDT's Big Bang, you should recognize that person, Jamper, from AEW, Kanosuke Takeshita. Teaming up. You guys say that person from WWE, I'm like, huh? No, Kanosuke Takeshita is the one who. Oh, Yuki Ueno leveling Takeshita. Takeshita took a swipe at Yuki Ueno. Takeshita was the man who Takeshita pinned Kenny Omega. Ueno, Go ahead, Ash. About. 
Takeshi to beat Wayno about six weeks ago at Wrestle Beat Japan. Who is Takeshi's partner, by the way? His name is Saki. So it's Usaka Sasaki, who's now in the ring with uh, Mao. The crazy man Mao. Sasaki represents damnation in DDT. Mao, sometimes it's just plain nuts. Oh, yike of a hair. Down goes Mao. I mean, oh. Sasaki has his moments as well, because, of course, he had that quite crazy match with El Desperado. That dream match that he was wanting, that he got. Was it a dream or a nightmare? So trying to figure that out. Uh, both bo seemed happy with it afterwards, so they they, sh they shared some alcohol, so... Well, one thing to know about oh, Mal Jamper, one thing to know about Mal Jamper, he is very athletic. He is very athletically gifted. The catch should have let him go behind. Mal with a counter. Oh, he's yeah. an awful man. Oh! 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 To catch the hell up to the waist, but no, it wasn't an elbow, it was a headbutt. Oh, he oh, tried him backwards. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, what a takeover! Oh, Good lord, and look at her Karana by Yuki Ueno! Uh oh. Oh no, wait. Jamper, look out. Yuki Ueno's gonna fly. fly. Wait a minute, double oh, team! Wait, oh no, my no. god! Holy shit! Good look, Yuki Ueno and Mo take out Saki and Takeshita! And there we see the clown mask MJ Paul who made his presence known in the tag team title match. I was just gonna say, who is that ugly clown dude? MJ Paul. MJ Paul. Again, made his presence known, and oh. because of him, one would say, new tag team champions, Whoa. double knees by Mao. From quite a height. And now Mao just all over to catch it, and I can't say, I can say, it couldn't be happening to a nicer guy. I'm wondering if uh, somewhere, somehow, Kenny Omega is watching this with a smile on his face right now. I mean, I can't remember whether Matt was trained by Kenny. And I, I'm, not call, and I'm not saying if he was trained by Kenny. I'm, I'm saying with the fact that, oh my God, and behind the referee's back, Saki with that crutch to the head. Whose crutch is of, that? I'm not sure. Oh wait, of course, if Katsu matters yeah, it's Katsu matters crutch. That he's got because he's still dealing with his injury. Oh Oh Yukimano got shoved right into Katsumata. Wait, what? He's injured, damn it. He's not cleared to wrestle. What the? And, and and look at that and look at that a second just Sasaki just mocking, openly mocking. Oh, come on. Oh, crutch right to the stomach. Oh, swing and a miss. Oh, there's a right hand. Oh, look at the DDT. Well, wait a minute. Kiso saw it. Wait a minute. Kiso saw it. Kiso died. Oh, wait a minute. He, he won't hit him. He doesn't want to hit him because the history. And the way he knows, like, oh, wow. And then Gatsumata needs to realize that this is not the Takeshi. Oh, oh, my God! Takeshi to dodged it. And he's now that he's getting clawed, practically. Jeez. And what Norikatsumata now knows that this is not the same man that he once knew. Takeshita, brain buster, beautifully done. I don't know why Takeshita felt that, that he needed to have Don Callis in his life. You know the old saying, and a, and a famous commentator well, once... To be fair. Well, I was gonna say, when I think it was commentator. It, it, seemed like friend, it seemed like friendly 
sort of stuff at first. Yeah, that's back when Don Callis was with turn. the Elite. Yeah. And then Don Callis just became the stain on the underwear of life, as a famous commentator once said. And Don Callis has become a stain in Takeshita's oh. life. Now, laying in the shots to Takeshita. Oh, big boot by Takeshita. Oh, caught that time by Mal. Rolls through with a spin wheel kick. Now, Yuki Ueno. Oh, close line missed. Missed the back elbow. Up and over. Look at that beautiful hurricanrana by Ueno. Ueno off. Oh, my God. The impact on that shot. Ueno oh, going for something springboarding. Drop kick, maybe, but dodged. Beautiful. Oh! Oh, wow! That was like a top rope Bronco Buster. It was. Oh, oh he was looking for oh, me. that time. Yeah, oh no. Oh, oh my just god! The outside. Just chucked him out. Was gonna... he, he chucked him out. He was to catch the ropes, I think. He could have gone much, much worse. Gone quite a way down. Oh, Mal just got posted. By Sasaki. So the fans again. Oh God. On both sides. And I, I, I think and the crotch that, being used again. Yeah, I think the Japanese commentary team is referring to the the conflict that the catcher has been having with Kenny Omega. Excuse me, Kenny Omega. What's the cash they're looking for? Oh, Chairs. well. Chairs. Blunder. Talk about <laughs> playing with heavy metal. Yeah, like we didn't see that earlier in that death match that we saw. That exploding <laughs> death match. Wait, what? I missed an exploding death match? Son of a bitch. Oh. Wait, what is the cash they're thinking? Oh, no. No, wait. You can't. Oh, my God! <laughs> Oh my god! Senton. No, that was a helo! That was a helo! Well, Fr uh, from the Senton ring! Hilo, whatever. It was like... From the. One of ours, it was painful! Good yeah. God Almighty! Takeshita! With no regards for his own well being! With a helo from the ring to the outside on top of chairs onto Ueno! Not to catch it. Oh. He's up at one. I guess the cocky pin was knowing so I know. That was, that was almost a dig at Chris. Up. If you if you notice the way he did that, it was almost a dig at Chris Jericho. Maybe. Saido suplex by Sasaki. It's open. Can, now can he's tied up in count? the ropes. Uh, tag him back in with Takeshita. I th oh, maybe. No, he did. He did tag, I think. Uh oh. Up from Brett's rope. Another sent on. And immediately tagging in again. Sasaki with a drop kick right to the head. Goes for the pinfall. Ever since, and that's a two. Ever since Ueno just got devastated with that helo on the outside on the chairs, it's it's been all of all to catch it and Sasaki. Ueno trying to power out of his headlock. And you gets out of it, and now... How is Ueno blows. back up on his feet, oh. trading blows? I was going to say trading blows. It's more Sasaki taking quite a few. 
Oh, as a slap to the chest. Oh, to cash it, it up. To keep oh! oh, up and over. Again. It is. Oh, oh you ain't a sense of sake into to to cash it up. Suplex by Ueno! Suplex with a hint of Buster, but not fully. But now this is Ueno's chance to make a tag! Gonna get the hot tag in, yeah, yep, Mao's now. finally in. And so is Takeshita! Oh. oh! Rising Palm Strike! By Mao! That stag and Takeshita reversal! Oh, drop kick! Somehow Takeshita is still back on his feet! And Mao, coming at all, runs right into a boot by Kanosuke Takeshita. Oh, but there's a running fish strike by Mao. And now, no! Oh! Kind of a rough rider by Mao, and only a two. From back to rope, you know, it's not like a, a springboard variant, if you want to call it that. Mal going for... Oh no! Oh, oh my tried to god! He bound off the ropes and immediately got hit. I think it was... Kick I think the abdomen it, instead. I think Mal was thinking maybe that rebound clothesline that he likes to use. But Takeshi that apparently had that well scouted. Oh, he avoided contact! Super kick by Mal! Off the ropes! Oh, Takeshi that deep six into the Blue Thunder Bomb! Blue Thunder Bomb and only a two! And we also have to know that the conflict jamper between Kanosuke Takeshita and Kenny Omega is far, far from over in AEW. We haven't seen... Go ahead. No, I just said Wazer. And now Mao and Takeshita trading blows. Like I was saying earlier, the fans of DDT have got to be wondering what happened... Oh, to, to oh, catch it up. Oh. oh, misdirection. Oh, oh. to catch it up responds. Good God. This is impact after impact after impact. And I'm not talking about the promotion either. Oh, wait a oh. minute. Wait a minute. One you, tag. Yeah, you ain't gonna make the tag. I don't think to catch it at nose. Springboard Canadian oh. Destroyer! But you ain't up and Sasaki make the cut! Ma with the interception with the cutter! Only a two! Good God! These men are defying the terms of gravity! Wait a minute, you ain't no. Oh, went for that big clothesline. Yeah. Oh, my. Whoa! Ueno jumped out the way from the suplex. Oh! And made it look Takeshi easy. Oh, Ueno. Oh, wait. Off the ropes. Oh, he's thinking maybe another oh. Canadian to catch him to block that. Oh, oh. Wait, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did I? Ueno just got dumped on the back of his skull. But now Sasuke legal tag! And then tags Ueno with a clothesline. Leaping off the top as well with it. Into the DDT. Heading back up to the top. What a one-two punch this would be for Damnation if they could get the win here. After winning oh, the tag team titles in the last match. Oh no, jeez! the apron. But you ain't said you ain't gonna do that to me. Oh Wait no! Minute, you ain't a, oh oh. oh. Tried to go for the runner maybe, but got blocked. It did. Oh duck! Whoa! Look no. at you ain't no German, but you ain't no what the? And Sasuke's back on his feet and a dragon suplex. But you ain't all Sup super kick. Sasuke off the ropes! 
Oh my god! But you ain't no half and half! Oh, countered! Been... Countered! It's in a cross face! Unbelievable! Wait a minute, Mal. Mal comes in for the save. Oh my god! Then just got his clock cleaned by Takechina. I think Mal might be unconscious. Wait a minute, a double team. Double team. Oh, wait a minute, you ain't, you ain't just fighting out of it. You ain't just fighting out of it. You ain't, oh, hey, you ain't with the half and half. Look at Mal, oh my God, with the springboard hurricane runner. Oh, and it's, it's like you're in trouble, oh my God. Think? You ain't a, I think it's these two that are legal man. You ain't on with the, the frog! frog. You ain't on God Froggy! On Sasaki and kicks out! The Keshida and Mao fighting on the outside, and you, you ain't on Strobo. Oh! oh! Got it, the knees up. I avoid. Go the BMA. Oh, German by Takeshida. Wait a minute, Mao. Mal! Oh, oh my god, oh god, on the back of his head! On the back of his head! And on Takeshita. And, and Sasaki. Go! Oh, double clotheslines! And I don't mean the Adam Cole MJF one, baby! Oh, Ueno kicks out, but Sasaki immediately goes into the crossface and, and, and look at Takeshita! It's got one locked in on Mal. Mal, you ain't over in a lot of trouble here. You ain't a, a far, oh, he gets to the bottom rope, and and that's the rope break that counts because you ain't was the legal person. But now Sasaki slams Ueno and he's gonna go up to the top rope again. Yeah, we got a top rope moment. Sasaki! Oh my god! Kinda got his legs up. He the elbow. Oh, oh, Sasaki grabbing the ref. He's grabbing Kiso Daisuke. Oh, oh no. Sasaki saw you ain't no coming. Oh, and a oh. low blow! A low blow by Sasaki! And now a chair! Oh, bringing in the chairs again. Paul once again making his presence felt in another match. Chair shot to the ribs. Oh, wait a minute, Mal intercepts it! Oh no, Mal's got the chair! Oh, oh. no! Oh no! A miscue by Mal! Mal gets a chair to the face! And no chair to the back of Ueno! Jamper, Jamper, Ueno's in a lot of trouble here. This is bad. Really bad. Oh no. Oh no, the chair's still in the ring. Oh. A pedigree! A pedigree! Luckily, not on the chair. Oh. Oh, but no, Takeshita. going up. Takeshita. What's he getting? The elbow. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Mao! No. Mao! Mao took the blow Mao for Ueno! The senton. Yeah, he did! Mao took the blow for Ueno! This match has already spiraled out of control. Wait a minute. What the hell? What the? 
They're they're holding Mao. Oh. What, Yuena? What are you doing? You Yuena's not gonna do it. Yuena want to drop kick the Sasaki. It's almost like Takeshita and Sasaki wanted Yueno to hit Mao with the chair. But now it's Yueno and Takeshita. 37 Kamiya to sort of implode as a team. And they're sticking together as it st seems. Oh, jeez. Oh, Big stiff shots from Takeshita. Oh, oh my oh, god! My Oh, what a drop kick! Drop kick from Moreno. Wait a minute, Mao with the rebound kick! That rebound kick! And now Ueno up the oh, with a big glory for Ueno! <laughs> Kiso Daisuke is still yeah. down! And Mao, oh my oh. god! Mao with a big splash. Talk about frequent flyer owls! Oh, a block! That running Mine knee! A hurricanrana by Sasaki! He's, he's got him, he's got only a two! Oh, wait a minute. A block by Ueno! Wait a minute, Ueno's trying for that takedown! Beautiful drop kick by Ueno! Wait a minute, look at that. A double overdrive by Ueno! But now Ueno, going for the BMB! And he connected! Ueno connected with the BME, and that's it! Ueno and Mal pick up the win over Sasaki and Takeshita. Unbelievable. What a match. What a tag team match. But Yuki Ueno and Mao defeating Sasuke of Damnation and Konosuke Takeshita. And you gotta know, Ash, whenever whenever he sees this, you have to you have to figure Kenny Omega's got a big smile on his face right now. For sure. You ain't out with some words for Takeshita. Maybe something along the lines of, you know, you won't. <clears throat> I, I think he's been sort of teasing that there's a lot of people and the egos within the 37 Camilla stable like himself that are wanting to break away and do their own thing or go to another stable. I think uh, Mao and Ueno proved today that it ain't happening at least this week. <laughs> I think Ueno just challenged Takeshi to a one-on-one -on -one match. I don't know about you, Jamper, but that'd be a match I would love to see. Ueno and Takeshi to one-on-one. -on -one. That'd be a fantastic Pretty match. Happy.
Sorry about that. E7 will be uh, standing together in the ring. Again, we apologize for not having translations ready for this, folks. See, this is the one that matters. Yep, there we go. He wants a singles match with Takeshita. Mm. Mao does. Takeshi should have made a lot of See, enemies. Mm. I think he did mention... He mentioned a date, but not the venue. I believe. So, uh, it'll be two weeks. September 24th. The, uh, who's gonna top... 2023 show, which we already know is going to have Mackie challenging Cardona for the Universal Belt. We can now add Takeshita to one on one with Mao for that show as well. DDT's return to Kurakun is going to have a couple of big ass matches on it. Speaking of big ass matches, one more match left. The main event. Now, Ueno and company standing strong mm -hmm. in the middle of the ring as we get ready for the main event of DDT's Big Bang 2023. Probably not getting a video package because of the venue that we're in, so I might as well start telling the story now. Um, Chris Brooks for years in DDT. Um, even during the pandemic, sticking around, you know, wrestling. Well, not wrestling, obviously, over the pa certain points of the pandemic. But c staying here for, you know, years. You know, we practically, Japan's his second home now. He barely does anything in the UK anymore. And has had very few, has uh, quite a few near misses in previous years and then came the king of ddt tournament and uh i mean i think back to the match nearly, he had with uh, Higuchi in that tournament that was unbelievable yeah. i mean that itself proved to me that he certainly had a chance if you can take down somebody like a gucci who he himself was beaten by Yuki, uh, uh, by Yuji Hino, who we saw earlier, the big guy who lost the tag belts. 
and uh, you know Brooks won people's champ sort of style thing he celebrated in the fans but before all that his first challenger came out and it's a foe from his past and a foe of many people to be honest over the the, the last uh, 10 15 years or whatever the man they call beast mode Shigahiro Uye. And Jamper, look at the size of this man. Ada's style entrance stuff. Yeah, the... Uh... The king of... Um... The king of super strong style. At least for 2022. Got knocked out in the quarterfinals of this year's tournament. Oh no, sorry, hang on. What? No, here we go. Yeah, the 16 karat goal back in March. Shigehiro Uie won. That uh, was a super strong style 16 tournament that he lost uh, into back in May. Here comes the champion. The KOD open weight champion. Crazy thing to note. Um, I don't know whether it was before or after. <coughs> Iwie was also in a All Japan match on the same day, so he had a world title match, and then was in a uh, eight-man tag for All Japan. Later that day in Tokyo. Now, the last time we saw Chris and Irie, they're in a tag match, which I don't think we did commentary for. No, we did not. But Billy, you certainly watched it. And, yes. You know, Irie won with the knockout. He won by a knockout. With that elbow. But. Goaded him afterwards, and Chris had to be held back. And like I was saying when we were watching it, I've never seen Chris Brooks that fired up, that angry, ever. Chris Brooks literally wanted to tear into Irie. And also notice too is in Chris Brooks's part uh, corner, his partner in CDK, Masahiro Takanishi. Hard to say who has a real advantage in this championship match. As you can see, Chris Brooks definitely has the advantage when it comes to size and reach. But Shigeru Irie has got, has got power and strength. Especially in those strikes. We saw what it did and it knocked out Chris Brooks. So yeah, 2019, February 2019, Brooks beat Irie at the Rev Pro Show. Uh, only a month later, 
at 16 carat. Irie got revenge, if you will, by beating Chris Brooks in the first round um, that day or a month later. So this technically is the rubber, if you want to call it that. One win apiece. And the thing that is just so misleading about Chris Brooks, given the fact that he's around 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, is that he is so unbelievably agile for a man of his size. You wouldn't think a man that's 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, could move like a cruiserweight. But that's exactly what Brooks can do. And of course, having those long, long appendages, those long arms, those long legs... They work to his advantage on a lot of submission holds. But if Idiot gets Brooks on the ground, I believe, Ash, if Idiot gets Brooks on the ground, on his back, that size differential will mean absolutely nothing to Idiot. You tie a man up like a pretzel on his win. back. Oh, well, there's that boot. Oh, it caught him with an elbow. And again, no, that time Brooks took, takes down Idie. But again, it goes back to what I'm saying. You, you take a man. Oh, oh, chopped by Brooks. You take Brooks off his feet, put him on his back, and he doesn't have that height advantage anymore. He doesn't have that. That, that speed and agility advantage when he's on his back. And again, we have seen that sort of spirit in him in the last couple of months because he had no height advantage against Noguchi and won. He had no power advantage against Hino and won. I guess the question is, can you deal with power, high-flying, and height? Oh, look at it. Ide just depositing a, that springboard splash in only a two. Again, the richest prize in DDT on the line in this contest. And one might say both men have a lot to prove in this title match as well. Brooks a lot to prove to himself, and to the to prove to himself and to the fans that he is not a one a one time flash in the pan deal. That he is indeed worthy of being called the KOD Open Rank Champion, and Ida a lot to prove to himself as well. Saying that I beat Chris Brooks in a tag match, and I can do it again when the title's on the line. Big shot. Right there by EDA. And now Brooks responds with a chop. Got back from Brooks. And again. And again, EDA again with that power, with that slam. And a big, oh, seated senton by EDA. Hello, John Tenta. And only a two. Japan Bakery. I just noticed that on the turnbuckle. <laughs> oh, what a shot! A Shigeru I idiot. How <laughs> oh, about so close to the abdomen? I think it. <laughs> yeah. Half the time it looks like a low blow, but. Well, they get uh, Brooks is six, is, you know, no average man, six, seven, six, eight, almost. EDA panning to the crowd a little bit. Oh my God! Uh, the senton, and then they could connect it right in, right in the lap of Brooks. Coffin drop esque, really.
Goes and blows in, trying to go for a suplex or brain buster, maybe. But again, that, it's that long, lanky body of Brooks working to his advantage. EDA, wait a minute, wait a minute. Brooks, what a drop kick! And a nip up, a kip up by Brooks. And a Brooks, oh, what a running That's elbow. Cool. And look at that. No! Oh my! What a neck breaker! The hangman's neck breaker and only a two! And again, Jennifer, if you can unmute yourself for a minute. Taking a look at Chris Brooks, the, the tall guy, you wouldn't think a guy that looks like that, that's tall like that, would move at the speed of a cruiserweight. Nope. I mean, what what are your thoughts? Speechless. And now both. Oh, Ooh. Jesus Christ! Oh, oh it's having a slap fight. Oh my God! Oh, for the KOD. Oh man, open weight champion chat. Yeah, this is what they were going at uh, in the post match at the tag match last week. Slaps and elbows are plenty. Yeah, and if you think of it, comes down to a oh. fight like, oh no. Oh no, eat it off the road! Oh. oh my god! He had so much momentum, it nearly became like a DDT. He spun around 180 from the dive. If that would have happened, that probably. Chris Brooks. Oh, oh wait a minute, Chris Brooks with a top A! What athleticism from Chris Brooks! What a tope taking down EDA! And that just speaks to the kind of athlete Chris Brooks is. And now on the outside. Wait, Bro Brooks, what is... Wait, what's Brooks doing? Bro Brooks and, and Moss... Wait, Brooks walking to the other side of the audience. Wait, Brooks is... Wait, they're... They're, they're getting people at the... At those tables to move. Oh, slap! Oh, now... Now on the outside... Headbutt by Idie. They're awfully close to those Japanese commentators, Ash. Mm hmm. So we're going to have a table spot, probably. And remember, these are Japanese tables, ladies and gentlemen. Not like the tables you'd see in WWE. Oh, Idiot shoves Brooks off the table. Went, oh, throws the chair right in Brooks' face. And, and part of that guardrail comes off. And our Idiot, just like he's taking a suitcase to work, like an attache case, just taking that table with just one arm, one hand, Brooks has got a chair. EDA is now setting up that table on the outside of the part of the ring, and Brooks with a receipt to EDA with that chair. Brooks is now sitting on the chair. Throws EDA back into the ring. Wait a minute, Idiot! Idiot! Oh, what a top eight of his own! Again, the athleticism of both men is just unbelievable! Oh my god, a senton! Again, unreal.
Shigeru Edie and Chris Brooks off for the KOD Openweight Championship, the richest prize in DDT. Oh, wait a minute. Both men now back up to the ring apron. EDA has got Brooks. Uh, no, pile driver. A pile driver? No, no, Brooks is fighting it. Brooks is fighting it. Again, that lanky body of Brooks working to his advantage, but. And now Brooks! Brooks has got, got EDA up! Oh no, oh no. Oh, oh my no. god! Air Raid crash on the yeah, ring apron! <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Brooks is not done. Wait, Brooks is not done. Brooks has got him up. Brooks has got him up. A pile driver right, through the that. table. Unbelievable. Both men through the table with a pile driver. How in the world is Idiot? Is the first one that's getting up. To some extent. That's what I was about to point out. Somehow <laughs> EDA is the one that was moving first after taking a pile driver from the ring apron through the table. Now the referee is started his count. Remember, folks, there's a 20 count on the outside, and if the champion gets counted out, they do lose the championship. Both men are stirring after going through the table. Brooks moving a little awkwardly now. Brooks back in the ring. EDA struggling to get back into the into the ring. He makes, makes it, it in at seventeen, so it wasn't a uh, nineteen and suddenly rushing the ring. But that pile driver definitely took a lot out of both EDA and Brooks. And now look at both men. Just a pair of big old bulls right in the butt heads with each other. Chopped by Brooks. EDA fires back. Reverb. And anything EDA does is reverbed. Doesn't matter what building he's in. <laughs> oh, 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 what a chop by Brooks. And EDA just absorbs it. And throws an elbow back at Brooks. On a big chop again. And now Brooks and EDA just... Trading blows with each other in the middle of the ring. Over the KOD Openweight title. Oh, big chop Dropped by Brooks. More, um, more, well, three chops in a row from Chris. Oh, oh. my God. Oh, my God. What a strike. Oh, what a kick. A knee by Brooks. It's a curry. Oh, EDA. What a blast with his arm. I think it was an out. Was it an elbow? I think it was like an elbow down on the head, possibly. That was almost like a, a knockout shot by Dragunov. Taking off all the tape on his arms. And now EDA. Going up to the top. No. Oh, Brooks oh, oh. with a right hand. Just dazes. EDA. And now Brooks. Had a double underhook, but EDA's fighting out of it. 
He has fought it. Shoves Brooks off the top. And look at Brooks. The agility of Chris Brooks. He's got the double avalanche butterfly suplex. And EDA is back up to his feet. EDA just absorbed that suplex. And then clotheslines Brooks in the corner by Brooks. What a German! But EDA's back up on his feet with another knockout shot! EDA, go for the tumor to win the title in only a two! What's it gonna take to stop any either one of these men in this match? You know, it's just Honda in the corner with the back of Guy Jim merch. I think Masada had one on earlier as well. Good to see the shirts last. <laughs> yeah, the question is, will Chris Brooks last? I mean... Considering the punishment he's taken in this match. At this rate, the 20th anniversary match for Massa against Chris is going to be over in about four seconds. Wait, what the hell is EDA going to do here? It's, wait, Brooks? Uh, Brooks? Oh, we're trying uh, to break the arm, I think. Yeah, Chris has had a problem with with, with his right arm. I mean, see, it's heavily... Wait, oh, what the hell? One drop or... Right, EDA, EDA! Oh! Yeah. Off of Brett's rope with the Samoa drop! Goes for the cover! The champion no two! Thought he might have tried to do the roll through sort of one, but he pivoted and turned it into sort of a turnbuckle uh, Samoan drop. Uh oh, he's going for the. Oh wait a minute, counter! That was the elbow that won him the match of last week. Wait a minute, octopus but stretch, then... octopus stretch by Brooks. He's got the module lock. It's just not in the stood-up position. It's uh, I, I think that I think that's worse for EDA. I think yeah. that's worse for EDA because he's really wrenching he's on that. Close. Yeah, he's really wrenching on that shoulder, on the shoulder. Uh, it, but somehow he's, EDA, go ahead. Oh, but rolls it off again. How much? How much damage? Wait. Oh no. Oh, oh no. He's, he didn't give him the thumbs down. The should do. F finger manipulation. Digit manipulation. He 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 jabbed his thumb, I think, down while he had that hold. And now. Oh, he's doing that to try and stop the punch. Because if your thumb's sore, you can't get the full-on fist, can you? No, you I can't. Say. No! Oh! Who needs a fist when headbutt. you have a headbutt? Yeah. God, this is every bit as hard-hitting as I thought it was going to be. But now, EDA, up on Brett's rope. What does he th No way. No, no, no. Not a pile driver from Brett's rope. No way. No way. No way. No way. No way. No way. Idiot. It, Brooks fought out of it. out of it. Oh, big kick. An idiot falls to the ring apron. Brooks says it's over. Wait, what? Brooks said he's going to finish it. Oh, right. A uh, right hand. Right hand by by EDA. Oh, what? No way. Wait. Now, now EDA is back up. No way. Not to the outside. Not to the outside. You kill him. Not to the outside. Oh, Brooks fighting yeah, out of it. Just... Wait a minute, Brooks. Brooks has got EDA. He's on the what top. The... He's perched on the top, but EDA is fighting it. EDA is fighting out of it. 
Oh, the big help. Oh, oh. No. oh, Brooks is in trouble here. Brooks dangling. Oh, well, look at Brooks. Oh, no. Brooks. Brooks. German oh. suplex. Oh, wait a minute. It is back up. It is back up in a cannonball in the corner. Another. Two cannonballs to Brooks. Again. Idiot with what? the cover to win Wait. the championship. Wow. Only a two. What do you have? What is it going to take to put Bruce Brooks down? What's it going to take? I think he's going for the, he's going for the elbow. Oh, oh my man. God. I think that's what did it the last time. And that's it. No, he no. kicked out! That was what knocked him out for the count last week. And somehow. And then look somewhere. at. Somewhere. Did you see the look on EDA's face? That was a look of disbelief. That was a look of I hit that man with that very same move and knocked him out. And he still kicked out. Wait a minute, it's going to do it. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Brooks, oh. Brooks with a backslide, roll no. through. Oh, a buzzsaw kick and another one. Combination That's of it. kicks. Oh, and oh. double knees. Double knees by Brooks. And Brooks has got a Great. double underhook. Mantis. Bomb. The bomb connects. The bomb connects. Brooks with a cover. Two. And a kick. What the hell? Idiot kick out! But no Brooks! Chris at the top. What's he going for? Double knees! Driving double knees. Cover! One! Two! And another no. kick out! What the hell? What, are you gonna have to kill Idiot and keep him down? EDA has hit Brooks with everything he's got! And the same can be said for Brooks! And they both still will not stay down! Brooks. Brooks has got EDA again. Got again. Oh no, it's kind of counter! EDA dropping down to his knees. Takes his weight down with him too. Brooks can't lift him up for that praying mantis bomb from that position. And as it started with a power struggle, it looks like we're ending with a power struggle. But how much more, how much do these men have left? Oh, jeez. Oh, my word. Six. Seven. Jeez. Hey. And Idiot's just taking it. Oh no. Oh no. He's got both arms captured. Oh! Headbutt! What a headbutt! What a headbutt by Idiot! The directional mic picked that up massively. That was a oh. proper noggin knocker. Because you heard the knock. We did hear the knock. But now Idiot has got Brooks up. There's that rolling Samoa drop. Goes for the cover for the, to win the title in only the two. What the hell is it going to take to keep either one of these men down? Like I said, you're going to... Yeah, he got left in his wheelhouse to try and get that decisive third count. Going for the arm again, I think. Oh, wait oh. a minute. Oh, what a Casador by... Casador! Casador by Brook! Oh, and a two! Only a two! Oh, oh my oh. god! That's gotta be it! New champion! New champion and kick oh. out! I think that's 25 minutes. <laughs> this... This...
Jennifer, I, I think we're gonna have to see one of these men kill each other just to get the pin. Look at what these men are doing to each other. All for the KOD Open Weight Championship. An idiot wants to get going for that clothesline. Oh, with a slap. Oh, another. Oh. And now, now Brooks with the left and the right and the left and the right. Just staggering EDA. Left and the right. Brooks with the strikes. Oh, but EDA firing back. Elbows. Elbows, forearms. Wait, he knocked Brooks out with those elbows. Elbows to the back. This is how EDA did it. And now the referee checking on Brooks. No. Says, He's got his arm up, so he isn't out. He's reaching the ref. He's all right. Brooks is still conscious. He's oh, my oh God! He can't be after that. Two, new champion. Brooks, what? Yeah. What? What the hell? Brooks still kicked out. You wonder if Irie had been patient, whether he would have won from the standing count that the referee was giving. He's going for it again. Oh! Oh, Round but to the back of the head. But eat no effect on Irie. Oh, and another big no, no, kick. No, no, no. Oh, and a third. That one was to the shoulder. On a fourth! Keep going, there's a four. And, and Idiot an is still standing with oh, a headbutt! Man. How in the. What is this man made of? A oh, Brooks! Oh, Brooks with a headbutt! One back. Wait, Brooks! Brooks putting him in his palm! He's got the palm! No, he, he's keeping them. He's keeping the hold! He's keeping. Oh, that's a second! Six. That's three! Praying make this bombs in one match! Two! And Brooks That's retains! It. What the hell? Wow. <laughs> Chris Brooks just showed what a champion is made of in this match. Took everything, everything that EDA had, including being pile-driven. Being clotheslined, all the elbows and the strikes, and it took not one, not two, but three praying mantis bombs to two put in a row with the with maintaining control for sure at the end. I can't think of anything right now. Both men need a trip to the hospital. Well, they need a drink. I mean, that was... Let me double check on the time. I think that was nearly 28 minutes. Yeah, 27.36. The time on that match. Close to half an hour. <clears throat> A successful, if exhausting, first defense. For Chris Brooks. <clears throat> I mean, Irie proved he is no slouch, though. I can't wait to see where he shows up next. Because... Oh, wait, what? Whoa. Irie still wants to fight. Irie grabbed him as if he was going for a pinfall. And like... Didn't look like there was any winners here, just a survivor. Chris Brooks survived Irie. What a match, and and I guess there's some respect being shown with Brooks and EDA. Less of a handshake, more of a, a clench. That's respect. <clears throat> <clears throat> that 
That is, I'm going to hell and back with this man. He's earned my respect. Brooks, still, the DDT KOD open weight champion. After this hellacious encounter with Chigoro Idie, what a match to end DDT's Big Bang 2023 on. This main nut's going to be going down in uh, one minute. Have a good night, y'all. Thank you so much for joining us, Champer. Mm -hmm. Anyway, if you didn't have any respect for either Brooks or ADA before, you definitely have to have some now. After the level of, of, of competition, the, the level of, let's just say, the level of this fight over the KOD Openweight Championship was, and the fact that Brooks not only took everything that EDA had to, had to dish out, but somehow survived and retained the KOD Openweight Championship. I got to tell you, folks, Chris Brooks is more than just an English commentator. He is more than just a comedian. He is more than just a wrestler. He is an athlete. And he is the KOD open weight champion. And he has earned the respect of Shigeru, Shigeru Irie. And I tell you what, folks, if he didn't earn your respect, I don't know what will, because they left it all on the line mm. in, in that ring, Ash, and what a match that was. Yeah. What a great main event. I mean, we, we've, Chris? we've gone on and off many a time on these watch-along commentaries, Ash about how great some of these promotions are. We've talked about how great Tokyo Joshi is. We've talked about how great Stardom is. We've talked about how great Gato Move is. Choco Pro. DDT is right up there with some of the best wrestling in Japan. I would say probably even the world has to offer. You get a very big wreck. Oh, hold on. Hello. Wait a minute. Um, did I did I just hear that correctly? Chris just asked Saki Akai to uh, make her way out. In that theme park match that 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 took place, Saki teamed up with Brooks in that match. I, I think Chris is mentioning that Sanky is a former Extreme and Iron Man Heavy Metalweight. She's had the Extreme title, she's had the Iron Man Heavy Metalweight title, and obviously tag belts and six man tag belts. But I think Chris is saying you never had a chance for either of the major singles titles, be it the Universal or the Open Weight slash World title. So, Chris wants Saki He's to be his next challenger. Giving Saki a tie a shot at the title. Mm. 
とか、そんなに挑戦させてあげるって気持ちが悪いなって思って、もうみんな、ヒルスのこのベルトの防衛ロードの一部になるつもりは一切ないから。悪夢のの人間ほど怖いものはないのに腹くくっときは。Oh, well, hold on. I just noticed. Uh, this is. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Saki basically saying, Don't you underestimate me. And this match, in case. Considering what Chris has just been through, is in two weeks at the Kurakan Hall show. So we have these two going at it for the KOD, Maki against Cardona for the Universal, and Takeshita versus Mao one on one. And then with who knows what else. k o r e k o n is looking to be a pretty stacked card. Which we probably will not be doing commentary of because normally k o r e k o n shows do have English commentary. So we encourage you, if you want to know more and see what happens in a couple of weeks, please subscribe to Wrestle Universe. Anywhere between $6 to $8, you get Tokyo Joshi, DDT, Gavari Pro. Pro Wrestling Noah, you get this level of competition, you get these level of shows, you get to see matches like what we just saw here with Chris Brooks and Shigeru Idie for the KOD Openweight Championship in two weeks time. Chris Brooks defending that title against Saki Akai. Folks, again, it's a hell of a steal. I can't say anything more about that. But as far as this show goes, man, what a, a stacked card this was from... From start to fi finish. And what a main event. Ash, any final words? I can't wait to see how all this goes in the next week or two. <laughs> Especially with those big matches at Kurikan. Neither can I. I mean, overall, this was, as I think as the title said, quite a big bang. Ch new champions.、Uh, champions、uh, retaining via skin of their teeth in some cases. All in all, an amazing show. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for us tonight.、Um, Folks, I hope you guys enjoyed our watch along commentary. If you enjoyed it, be sure you guys leave a like and be sure you subscribe to WGS TV on YouTube. Don't forget that we also do do these live over on twitch.tv slash WrestleGamer. Be sure you guys drop a follow over here and come check out some of the fun that we also have over here as well. So, with that being said, for all of our friends tonight, for Lance Moss, for Cody Hawkins, For the studly man Ashley. I'm your friendly neighborhood Russell Gamer, reminding all of you guys out there to just stay awesome. Bye, guys! <laughs>